So let's go into this. And I think the best place for us to start is I'm going to pull up my handy dandy little, uh, little, little, it's kind of quite long, but kind of a, a little rundown of everything going on. So this is obviously the second, uh, Molly of Convoy kind of stream that I'm doing. Um, we've got kind of a cast of characters going on. If you didn't see the first one, I'll kind of run you through everything. So we have Hopeless Peaches, who's, uh, we kind of pretty thoroughly covered with the first kind of thing with the fruitcake server. And, um, we had a couple things that kind of came up with, uh, um, creep show art. Uh, there's also another individual that was kind of brought to my attention. I looked into as best I could. Again, it's kind of one of those things that's a little more difficult because, Going backwards, uh, there's not as much information available. And so there's uh, an individual named uh, Camilla. I'm hoping I'm saying her name right. Uh, Camilla had a, a couple of associates that were um, Chilean, uh, from what I understand. Jackie, if I'm pronouncing her name right. And Nix the Shield. Uh, apparently, Peach has had a little bit of drama with these two individuals. Uh, and this was back early in the whole, like, Peaches meeting Lyle Convoy saga, right? So this would have been, like, really, really early. This probably would have been around the time of the barrel. Like, if you guys remember that when I was talking about that the last time. And uh, she kind of said some pretty freaking edgy stuff. And it was nice. Uh, a couple of people left comments and kind of let me know about this this last time. And I really kind of appreciated it. Uh, cause it gave me something to look into. So I really do appreciate when you guys comment on stuff, it helps me out and points me in a different direction and, you know, lets me know, like, even when I got to make corrections on stuff and everything else. So like, if you noticed, uh, last week I had an interview that I did, I got a, I got a bit of information and ended up making a correction and posted a comment on that. So I really do take the stuff that you guys put out there to heart and try and like adapt it and incorporate it and see what I can do with it. So please comment. I, I do actually try to respond and look at them all. Um, so anyway, we got Hopeless Peaches, who is from the Free Cake server. Uh, she's considered Lyo's kind of right-hand person. Um, I thought of some really good analogies with this. So if you're, if you're a historian of sorts, maybe a theater kid, I don't know. You probably know this. But... Um, Peaches, the best way to consider her would be like Brutus and Lyo Convoy would be Julius Caesar. Um, and I just thought it was also kind of funny because all this started back at March, right around the Ides of March. If you know what the Ides of March is, it plays heavily into what I've <laughs> written. <laughs> um, we have Lyo Convoy, who would be more the Julius Caesar of the Senate, also applicable with the Senate, I thought. Um, late, late, late thirties, a uh, loud mouth, brash kind of guy, uh, proclaimed Thundercats historian, uh, has a real high proclivity for making models, uh, intelligence of a common house and that you can tell what kind of mood I was in when I wrote this, uh, when it comes to dealing with anyone he labels a predator, uh, he's our main antagonist. We don't really have a protagonist in this story. We have a lot of antagonists that are on varying scales of bad um our protagonists unfortunately would probably be the people who were victimized more so by this group of individuals um and there's going to be a lot more like degeneracy involved with the whole lyo and peaches thing a little bit later i know that i have somewhere in here and i'm pretty sure i know where uh some interesting conversational stuff that happens between Lyo and uh, Hopeless Peaches. If not, I know I can bring it up pretty quick. I'm pretty sure I remember who put it out. But there are some uh, audio that uh, one of the more acclaimed people in all of this, which would be, I believe it's Kumo, not Akumo. Or, yeah, there's Akumo and Kumo. Kumo, I believe, is the one who captured this lovely little interaction but uh if we got time we'll get into that it's kind of a side thing but um let's see uh we got the lovely uh furry love triangle between coyote lovely who is another individual that i kind of talked about is kind of like in that inner circle of lyos um 
they have a the love triangle with the Zercarlo individual. Zercarlo is the furry raider, Zeus sadist individual, and then we have Hypnotist Sappho. Hypnotist Sappho is the other person in the love triangle, who is the uh, she's a Zeus sadist as well. Um, the pronouns again get kind of uh, unique here because you have Coyote Lovely. Coyote Lovely is a him. Uh, Zercarlo or Z- Zercarla. Zarkar Zarkalo. I, I can't I've seen both spellings, so I'm not 100 percent It might be Zarkalo, so I may be saying that wrong for a long time now. But Zarkalo and uh Hypnotist Sappho are both trans. Zarkalo is trans female to male. Zar or Sappho is trans male to female. So pronouns are a bit interesting there. Um they had kind of a a interesting love triangle that I, I like to compare when I was writing this to the Count of Monte Cristo, if you know that story. Um, Ephraim, who is another person that was brought up in the comments in the last video. Ephraim is uh, an interesting person. Uh, he's kind of, I lacked in explaining him last time. He's an extremely opinionated, very annoying individual, even annoying to the people in the Senate. Um, he's very opinionated and nitpicky and he feels like every situation that he's involved in, he is the most important person involved in that situation and really only kind of bends the knee when it comes to Lyo. Um, and a little bit with peaches and a little bit with doodle tones, but I don't even think with doodle tones, I think he sees himself on the same level as them. Um, there's, there's some internal squabbles that have occurred with, uh, Ephraim. Ephraim has also tried to, do the the nitpicky intelligent like pick it apart type thing with uh aquimos and uh kumos videos um we got doodle tones doodle tone is kind of the queen bee of the scc which is the side of the show slide show commentary community um remember last time we had the acc the art commentary community and the scc which is a sub genre of that well she's kind of the queen bee in that sphere uh she's a very manipulative person in my in my opinion um you'll see some of that come out with this uh especially once we get into her videos um she's uh also involved in the senate um involved in the art community art commentary community as a whole uh she's got a very 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 questionable uh and very kind of uh fetish ties that <laughs> come up in her story which are kind of interesting um, and then another individual that I really want to explain in depth, and I have a fair amount written up here, so bear with me, is Rosa Ray Ramsey, who's going to be an important person that we're going to get to Rosa's call, but I kind of want to take time right here in the beginning uh, to kind of break down who Rosa is and a bit about her. Um, some of this is more personal information. I kept it as uh, vanilla as possible. But Rosaray Ramsey is, she suffers from a couple of different uh, ailments. So she has severe epilepsy, severe autism, general anxiety disorder. And because of these per, like preceding conditions, she also has grand mal seizures regularly. Uh, she has a full-time caretaker that lives with her, I think. I wasn't able to get full clarity on that. Uh, she has had actual brain damage from just, uh, general injuries she suffered with these seizures, as well as, uh, from the act of seizing in itself. Uh, it's my understanding that, uh, she was nothing more than an individual involved in a discord that was run by a person called Star Giant. Star Giant is a, one of the predators that the, uh, Senate will confront at some point, although they apparently run away when they try and confront them. And uh, this person, they're the actual Discord Discord owner, server owner, whatever the hell you want to label it. Um, they actually harbored some very sketchy individuals in this Discord. Well, what happened for one reason or another, I believe Rosa was uh, kind of bickering slash battling with a person by the name of Zaid from the Senate. And this kind of brought their 
Eye of Sauron focus down on Rosa, and they ended up dragging her into this Senate call, which we're, we'll listen to. I think we might listen to that right away, actually, while it's fresh in everybody's mind. And um, she uh, she was kind of like really taking the task in front of about a hundred people. Now I have the full call. I'll have it in my playlist. Um, it is four hours of just her being ripped apart by various individuals within the Senate. I have listened to the whole thing. Um, I recently re-listened to the whole thing. It's not really necessary to hear the whole thing. I think we can get by with, uh, just listening to what goes on with, uh, Lyo's side, because he is probably one of the more hostile people. The other more hostile person would have been Hopeless Peaches in that call. And then there's a couple others that kind of fall quickly in line behind them as far as being very harsh. Uh, let's see. But this uh, the Star Giant person apparently ran this Discord, and apparently a majority of the people that were in this Discord were some level of mental mentally handicapped adults with uh, a person named Neko handicapped adults with a person named Neko. This is someone who was previously called out by the Senate. Okay. So Neko was somebody that was also called out by the Senate at one point. They were also in this server. Neko is the person that they basically identified as being in the server and they blamed Rosa for not reporting this person and getting rid of her. Which I don't totally understand because if you listen to the call, unfortunately, more than once, you really get a good grasp and understanding that she had no mod power in this server. She had no power at all in this server. Hold on. History with these people. There's, yeah. 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 She really is this one innocent. That's for sure. Um, somewhere out there, Shannon is watching the Nikita is hell right about now. <laughs> <laughs> Eat two beaches. <laughs> you got exactly where my train of thought was going with that, Jim. <laughs> I literally was like muttering this stuff to myself as I typed this all out. Uh, but uh, she was kind of singled. So Rosa was singled out by the Senate, um, was really berated heavily for not reporting this individual. And again, it's torn apart for roughly four hours in in front of roughly 100 people. I mean, this is, it's rough, okay? Um, so I kinda, I wrote up a little bit more here. So why is this all relevant? Well, we're gonna need to see this situation because we're gonna hear from other individuals, um, especially if we get into the Doodle Tones video, which I don't know if I want to play or not because there's a lot of excuses that come out of that. But uh, basically, there's a lot of suggestion that the Senate from this point forward was very different. And I'm going to show that that's not necessarily the case. I'm going to show you some real heavy manipulation. Um, it took a bit of digging to find some of these videos, but I was able to find them. But I do have all three videos related to the Raven Call. They're all relatively short, but two of them are actual uh, personal calls between Peaches and Leo, or Lyo. And then the other one is a mod call that has parts of the uh, Raven Call interspliced. I need you to hear what happens with Rosa because it's really important. It's really integral to the story. It's what really motivated a lot of people to be interested in this story primarily this and then you can go with uh oh there was a jack or jackson or some some other like name like that similar to that young kid 15 years old that lyo threatened to call his school because he was arguing with someone from the senate in his server and it, it was a big shit show and lyo ended up calling the kid's school reporting him which is if that isn't insane enough he basically reports him because he loses so fucking badly to this kid in an argument. Enough said there. But, uh, so, yeah, let's see where we're at. Look at the context of all the situations going on here. We have Peaches in the FCK server doing ideally what her and many others are going to call Rosa out for. Uh, we're then going to see Lyo doing exactly what he accuses and berates Rosa, um, or in a way, in defense of sweeping for peaches, 
uh things will be kind of taken a step further when we see the atul brutus moment for peaches and lyle when we get into those calls i told you told you i had that in my mind i didn't even realize i wrote it here <laughs> um it's also <laughs> it's also pushed heavily that since this call the senate has changed drastically i want to compare exactly what happened with this call with the more recent call from 20 and this okay so these calls are almost exactly a year apart i didn't write that in here but just for context the rosa call is from around february of 2023 there is another call that was the raven call that happened february of 2024 literally this year um i do not have much additional information on this beyond what is mentioned in the pizza's document and the calls themselves basically lyo had not changed at all you're gonna see that he acts really badly in this call when we get to that point um yeah i've got a note to myself to kind of explain that you know this 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 call when we go over this this is it kind of is rough i mean like you know i i don't typically like giving the whole trigger warning it's not my jam but it's rough it's rough as far as like they're really cornering someone and not allowing them to speak and you can tell I feel that like everyone who's listened to this call can tell that Rosa has some sort of uh, de de developmental disability. I almost said that wrong twice in a row. It's been a day. Um, so yeah, I think I think that we'll we'll call that good. I've got a little more note to myself about the whole uh, Camila drama as well as uh, Nick Shield and all that. We can come back to. So we'll we'll go into that. Um, but yeah, let me pull this up here. Uh, bo -bo -bo. Let's see. Doodle tones. Did I go into? I did go into the wrong playlist. Bear with me. Ha uh ha. -huh. See, you guys were looking at the wrong playlist. Ah, there's the right one. <laughs> All right. So here's our here's our actual playlist. I do have this one video down here. Um that we can look at and then i threw an extra video in um for the furry raiders thing that we'll definitely get into um just when we get to the zarkalo thing and all that so let's start off with this again understand this is a little rough i'm going to put it probably sped up a bit when we go into playing it um this is the full call like i said i'll have it in my playlist if you really want to go and listen to it um but really, I think if you hear Lyle's part, you get the gist of it enough. So we are going to go here, go here. I'm going to bump my volume all the way up so that we're at normal level. I'm going to read chat while this starts playing. Um, and we'll start it out on one and a quarter. All right. Hello, everybody. Just want to make sure everybody's up to speed here. All right. Let me know really quick. Does that sound okay for you guys before we get into it? I'll give you guys a second to respond. I just want to make sure everything sounds okay. It looks like it's going to be playing okay. I'll let it play a little more. I'm dealing with a degenerate that decided to get real stupid. This person has been obsessing over misanthropony for a while now and got caught in a different live stream. Admitting that there we go. I played it a little more. It looks like we're hitting right about good on the volume meter. I might actually take it down a little bit, especially because Lyo fucking loud now. All right, we're good. Thank you. <laughs> they had a child predator on their server for eight months and did dick all about it. This person, even though they've been exposed to that nonsense, has decided to continue to schizo post about misanthropy. Pony. So I'm about to confront this person live, and I figured since they decided to do the disservice of showing up after I tried to go to bed here when they were supposed to be here four hours ago, that I'd go ahead and make sport of them. So take a look at the tag, take a look at the screen. We're doing this live. <clears throat> all right, everybody else shut up. By the way, I, I know I said I was going to let it play. I'm going to read chat. First of all, if you see me laughing, I'm probably it's probably because I'm reading chat through while this is playing. I've listened to this. But the fact that he has the balls to enter a room and immediately say to people that are of his own server. And these are people, again, I, I don't think we really touched on this, but these are people that he refers to as sons and daughters. Okay. And he's like, everybody shut up. I, I I cannot stand this guy. Like I would love love to just have a a crack at him, but I don't have any real reason to give a crack at him. There's a lot of other people that are a lot more deserving in line, as you will see with this video. I'll go back to playing. Rosa, are you there? Yeah. You want to explain to me how you were four hours late when I made it very clear what time you were? Supposed to Hold on, I'm going to attempt something and 
I just want to make sure. Nope, we're there. We're good there. Okay, maybe I'll let it just buffer for a second. To be here. I was a, I was asleep. Oh, sleep. And what do you do in your life? That why does mean it, you need to sleep? In why does it keep buffering? You know, on. Hold on, this is a, imagine all of extremely frustrating. We're doing this live. <clears throat> all right, everybody else, shut up. Rosa, are you there? Yeah. Okay. You want to explain to me how you were four hours late when I made it very clear what time you were supposed to be here? I was, a, I was asleep. Oh, sleep. And what do you do in your life that means you need to sleep in the middle of the doggone day? I'd imagine all of nothing. Well, mostly I'm a night owl. Yeah, I don't care. When I said be here at four, what did that say to you? What did that communicate? I'm curious. Well, I, I told the others about my sleep schedule. Others? Who are the others? Am I the others? The others in the call. Am I the others? Because telling them about your sleep schedule means dick all to me. When I was waiting for over an hour, you didn't show up. And now you decide after I, I go to bed to show up. You could have communicated. You were running your cockles for all. All right. Bear with me. I'm going to try a couple more things. Hold on. We're going to change. I don't know why it keeps buffering. Uh, that's not the scene that I wanted. But hey, look. I fixed my my screen. Um, Let's try this. Let's go to just video there. And I'm wondering if... Getting rid of some of this will maybe help my buffer. So just in case that's causing any issues. <laughs> People with chronic pain. Hey, strawberry, somebody who gets it. Over the spawn room beforehand. You I wish I would have told you, but you didn't show up. What do you mean I didn't show up? I was here at four. Where were you, you lazy piece of garbage? I was right here. You were not right here. You just claimed you were in bed. So before you went nappy poo to take a little sleep sleep, because Lord knows you could use the beauty sleep. I've seen photos of you. Why didn't you, in the depths of your ignorance, decide to tell people you're going to bed and you might not be here on time? Well, I was busy with stuff. Oh, really? What the were you earth. busy with? Tell me. What were you busy with? Draw drawing art. Really? So you were drawing your little doodles and decided not to tell somebody you were supposed to have a meeting with that you would not be there. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Yes. And you're 30 years old. Yes. Do I need to explain how embarrassing that is? I just don't know. Don't tell me you don't know, because here's some things we're going to lay the ground rules. Number one, you don't get to say you don't know, because you do know. You don't get to say, let's just say, you're instead going to elucidate what you are talking about. And on top of that, I don't want to hear any excuses. You are 30 years old. You've been exposed for allowing a child predator to stay in a server and has children for eight months. And then you have the audacity to go back on Twitter and start running your mouth about Zaid. Okay. Everything seems to be working there, so I'm going to keep my camera closed because <laughs> I don't know if my camera, which I am replacing, I have a new one coming, um, because I've noticed that there's some like lines and stuff developing on it, and it annoys the living hell out of me. But we do have a new camera coming. Um, I'm going to let this continue to play, but yeah, you can see kind of the tone that um, Lyo has with Rosa up front, and I hope that it's kind of stressed across that like um, Rosa, Rosa is like she's i've heard more about her and that's where i didn't want to write things down but i will articulate it as my opinion here uh because i don't know if it's fact or not but from what i understand because she has seizures and stuff um i've seen people go through seizures um it's 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 a whole body fatiguing thing um so she will not just get physically tired she will get mentally tired and she will sleep a lot so if she's having seizures or if she's had a bad day, let's put it that way, she's very likely to actually be just like have crashed for a long period of time and stuff like that just out of, you know, a just cause, I guess. <laughs> um, medical need, I guess, is be a more applicable way to say it. But, uh, oh, thank you so much, Sarah. I appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, uh, he's... I don't know. He's just a very unique individual. So I apologize for interrupting. I'm also going to try and change a couple of things because my headphones keep cutting in and out, which is another thing. So I'm going to let this play a little bit actually now. And while this is playing, I'm going to do a couple of things. You want to explain to me where you think you have the moral high ground for any of that nonsense? I mostly side with. I didn't ask you who you oh. side with. I asked you a very direct question. I am not your mother. I am not your father. I am not here to play patty cake with you. With the nonsense you pulled, where do you think you get off trying to tell anybody anything about how they should act? Very direct question. Oh, man, it's quiet. Here, let me go ahead and make this very clear to you. So let's assume you're doing one of your doodles, okay? Can you can you imagine that, that you're doing one of your doodles? Can you can you think of that real quick? Yeah. Okay, let's assume somebody says they want to help you with your doodle, but the first thing to do is they grab the piece of paper you're drawing on, they scribble all over it, and tell you your art sucks. Are they helping you? No. Guess what Incidental did? Incidental's entire Twitter post history is schizo posting about Zaid, insulting him, harassing him, making all sorts of vague threats about other YouTubers. So go ahead, tell me that you will lie with him. I would love to hear it. 
What wisdom do you have to give, Rosa? You pedophile abating moron. Tell me your wisdom. I'm curious. No idea. Why are you trying to play dick off? Because the truth of the matter is, you will idealistically shack up with anybody who will give you the right type of attention, which is why you're hanging out with Peach the Witch, a.k.a. Mongrel. Okay, I'm just going to warn you one more time. For anybody who is, like, really sensitive to stuff, uh, it gets worse from here on out. So, like, you've heard some pretty light things in the range of where this call is going to go. Um, they do get into some very, very, very derogatory language towards this young woman. Uh, so I just, I'm again, warning you, like, if it's not your thing, maybe go away for an hour, come back. Uh, I'll be streaming, trust me. So you're not going to miss anything, but I don't really want anybody, like, getting super upset by this, but it, it's something that I feel is necessary to the story. ...who is admitted to having intrusive thoughts about grooming children. It's amazing how every person you hang around that you like being around that gives you attention is some sort of degenerate dirtbag that puts kids in danger. Isn't that fascinating? And why did she help me with emotional support? Because she is a mentally stunted, deranged lunatic who thinks she's everybody's hero despite the fact that she screws up literally everything she touches. Hate to tell you this, stupid, but just because somebody's nice to you doesn't mean they're a good person. Mongrel has an axe to grind against his server because I did the one thing her parents failed to. I told her the truth. And she did not like it. There's a reason why she lives in her car. There's a reason why she just went to jail for a few days. She is the biggest issue with all of her own problems. But instead, she thinks it's everybody else's fault. She refuses to take responsibility just like you do. So again, what wisdom do you... Have you been in the same situation Zade has? Right now, been? with y'all guys. Don't you tell me this y'all guys stuff. I asked you a direct question. I know that you're kind of dumb, but you're not that dumb. So I'm going to ask you again. What wisdom do you think you have to offer? Have you ever been in Zaid's situation? Yes. Really? Well, go ahead and point out to me when you've had thousands of people harassing you, insulting you, threatening you, telling you you're the same as an actual child predator, putting you on lists with maniacs, and then other people agreeing with it, and some people flat out saying that you belong in hell. Tell me how you felt any of that. Tell me when you dealt with it. Right now. Right now. You haven't felt. You have one person calling you. Because. I am not thousand dishonest snake. Because this is how I feel. I don't care about how you feel. Your feelings are worthless because they do not match observable reality. You feel bad because you've been called out because your parents are absolute failures that didn't teach you to have a moral backbone. Boo-hoo! You gotta go crying to the person with intrusive grooming thoughts now. You gotta shack up with some other actually, degenerate that makes you feel better. Is that what your next move is? Actually, no. Because last if time only you, you got, Don't you tell me all if only you, I don't care how you met Starjack. I couldn't care less if you met her in, a, in the back of a dog on Taco Bell sucking off dick. I don't care. Because it's irrelevant to your failure to act when a predator was... Do you understand me? You, you just don't want to know the truth. Oh, go ahead and enlighten you? me. Tell me the truth. I'm all ears. Since you are the arbiter of all that is truth, let's hear it. I just didn't know this person. I just didn't know Necropon. Yeah, because Nil has over twenty hours I would, that you do not like to genuinely not smart enough to pull it. Because I was just sorry to break in again. Um there is a statement that I recently seen. Um well I don't know if it's really a statement. There's an interview um by this this guy named Tommy Tommy in house or Tommy in house or something like that is the name of his channel. Here, let me see if I can pull it up. Ba 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 uh tommy's house that's what it was uh tommy's house and uh, this this gentleman he's done quite a okay we're not doing channel videos um i i know i'm breaking away from the video but if if you're really looking for some in-depth content he's actually had interviews with people like uh nil who is actually someone you just heard mentioned um Asher Morningstar, um, Spooky, uh, Nevereth, uh, Nil is in here and I may have just passed it. So I thought it was more recently. A message from Nil. Why is Lily's interview missing? Uh, yeah, so he, this person's done a lot of like actual interviews with people related to this. So if you want more on the story, so just go and watch his content. Videos aren't that long. Um, pretty bearable. A lot of like uh, impart, uh, um, kind of impromptu interview. I wouldn't say it's more like it wouldn't. It's not like an official interview. Um, it's more conversational. But just thought I'd throw that out there. Just this regular person. Oh, you're not a regular person. Let's get that out of the way right now. You knew what was going on. That's why you were able to tell me who it was. That's why you were able to tell me what server it was in. That's why you were wrong. Worse than you. You wanted to own us on Agent Angie, a.k.a. Lovely Lena, because God forbid somebody lied to you. So go ahead. What's the rest of the truth? I'm yeah. Curious. You got to tell me again that you didn't know? You've already lied about that, what, three times now? You think the fourth time's going to make it work? Let's try it. Let's go ahead. See if the fourth time's charm. It just... Uh... 
We just thought this Nekoban person was just some random nobody or a fan. You were given it But that but that is until we discovered the truth. And eight you sat months on it for eight months. You sat on it for eight months. You were given it at the beginning. Again, well, I have logs. You're lying. So here's here, stop. Here's your one your one chance to stop lying because it's not gonna help. You will never ever get anywhere by lying to people. I know your parents were too stupid to teach you that, but here I am filling in the gap, like I tend to for people your age, for some embarrassing reason. Because you are a lazy, worthless git. I had to get out of bed where I was laying next to my lovely beautiful about to get some nice sleep because you decided to take a little nappy poo without telling anybody because you were all tuckered out from your crayon drawing. So I will fill the gap for your worthless parents. So do not lie to me, Rose. I am not in the mood. Do you understand me? Yes. Good. The don't. Oh, well, since we're freezing up again, I'm going to let it, like, buffer for a second. Um, I just never really cared for the fact of, like, how he's... Especially... Okay, let me take this back a little bit. This guy comes from the art community. He is surrounded by people who are artists of different talents. Um, you know, be it uh, some are more anime-esque drawings, like, some are just different art styles. Uh you know, like him, you could consider model making an art style. Uh, it's just, it's astounding. Sorry, I took a drink. <laughs> it's astounding that, like, for someone who surrounds himself in the art community, he is so open with demeaning the way that, like, Rosa was, okay, so she was drawing. So, like, me, you think he would have a little more fucking respect for that? I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Um, I, I wouldn't consider my hobbies an art form in any way shape or form but like i don't know i i would be pissed off if someone's like oh you were fucking around with your little cars and stuff like that like if someone talked to me like that they would taste blood it would be their own but they would taste it <laughs> like <laughs> oh that might have been a little too far but okay hopefully that's buffered enough try to think you can pull a fast one but you are not smart enough i apologize i do not know what's going on with these playbacks tonight so again, where do you think you get off trying to get on to Zaid for being mean about Star Wars? Open. How were you raised to have priorities so absolutely screwed up? Somebody trying to siphon gasoline out of a tank using an electric vacuum is smarter than you. So again, where do you think you get off? Where do you think you have the moral right to lecture Zaid when he's being mean about Star Wars on the... What's your actual malfunction here? What's your actual... Is it because he's mean and you don't like people being mean about things you like? Is that what this is? Mostly side with Moon Paladin. Just take the Moon advice. Paladin is a worthless idiot who can't even wash his own hair. Do not sit here and tell me who you side with. Chances are he probably has some other demonic skeleton in his closet like you did. I am tired of you trying to sit there and put the onus for your actions on other people. If Moon Paladin ever grows a set of testicles, they can come in here and argue their own case. Because he's not there to help Zaid either. Nor are you. None of you want to help him. All you want is for him to be quiet because you're all weak and pathetic. All of your entire personality is around what you consider to be something you enjoy instead of your own moral values because you have none. You know dick all about Moon Pallet. You die today, he'd forget you. And this is why I tell people who come at me crying about Zaid being mean. The people who obsess over him like you are worse than he could ever be. Ever. Period. You let a child predator run loose in your server. Do not sit here and get mad at me or that Zaid because oh boo hoo, he said mean things about people who schizo post about him concerning Star Wars. Do you just have no adversity? in your life do mommy and daddy take care of everything for you when you're 30 years old is that the case here well i plan on i plan on just having a normal life you're not gonna have a normal life you know how i know you're 30 years instead what do you think zayed should do go ahead impart upon us your wisdom oh 30 years uh since there's no answer going on right now do you mind if i ask like what just a tldr real quick or is that out of the question and enters one of our antagonists that is coyote lovely that you are hearing there remember coyote lovely is the person that is involved with the love triangle with hypnotist sappho and zircalo um i just as you can see i just want you to see this is a very good interaction as far as showing um some of these people that I, i'm going to talk about um how they've interacted with people in the senate uh, like I said, I, I don't think, and, you know, kind of to touch on your your point there, Sierra, I don't think anybody's good here. This is just a bunch of people who were just judging bad against bad, worse against worse, however you want to put it. But, and yeah, I, I didn't know that, Strawberry. I, that, uh, but I'm, it's not surprising to hear that either. Okay, what's the big grievance with Saeed, if you don't mind? Uh, what in particular about him being mean about Star Wars bothers you, if you don't mind me asking? I'm, I'm also, I'm just gonna let you know right now, I'm not yelling at you. I'm actually trying to understand the situation. So if you could please give me an answer, that would be very much appreciated. It kind of felt, kind of felt like, well, if you look on Twitter, but it just feels like it's going on and on. 
All right, so Zaid has a lot of opinions about Star Wars. Um, I I don't understand how that's and such a big everybody, deal. And everybody here, they seem to like The Last Jedi. Everybody where? Okay, I apologize. One more time. I'm going to let this play out a little bit more, but we are going to skip this part eventually because they carry on for quite a long time on being like this this spiraled circle of like her having a hard time explaining why she's upset about Zaid, uh, seeing what he said, whatever it was about star Wars on Twitter. And they fought about it. Like that's literally what they're going to argue in circles about for probably the next, I think in the call, it's almost like an hour. This goes on for, I am not kidding. Many people. I understand many people may enjoy it. Many people also didn't enjoy it. It's a very d divisive film in that regard. But you said yeah, it's here. So, just here. Do you mean like in your in your personal life? Do you mean in this server, in another server? I'm trying to understand where you're gauging that off of. Well, I mostly give this film kind of like nine nine stars. I, I understand, but that's that's not the question that I'm asking. The question that I'm asking is you said everyone here liked The Last Jedi. Where Where is here? Like, do you mean in your personal life? Do you mean in this server, in another server? Like, because I can... I, honestly, I can go on YouTube right now and find a slew of videos of people who enjoyed it, people who didn't, and people who were just in between. It, it's a very divisive film. Twitter. Okay, Twitter. Uh, but let's just say... You say let's just say again, I'm going to jump it, into the family. It's, it, it's mostly, it repeats the same thing like all over it. Like you do? Oh, let's just say, is your literal catchphrase, you don't have the right to complain about other people repeating themselves. You're a constant broken record. Who cares? Here, let's go ahead and test your, your values here. Um, if Zaid doesn't like The Last Jedi, should he watch it? That's a question for you, Rustin. He's going to get into a hypothetical here eventually that I'm really going to take a little bit of time I, to pick apart. If Zaid just, does not like The Last Jedi, he should watch it. I it's a yes just, or no question. It's a yes or no question. It is not an essay question. No. Okay, so... Here's where I point out the fact that your values are inconsistent. If he doesn't like Last Jedi, you don't think he should watch it. So if you don't like Zaid's opinion, why do you skit self post and follow him all over? Why don't you just ignore him? It's mostly his attitude towards people. Has he threatened anybody? I found a threat you found of a threat? him. A threat. People. What's the threat? A Repeat threat. It. Repeat it. What's the threat? That car, that car wreck threat. That's not a threat. He can't make you get into a car wreck. Him saying he hopes you get into one is not a threat. Do you know what a threat is? I hope every single child predator gets attacked by I will do because she thinks now they for over a week now because you got bodied and then you came back, back thinking you had some sort of moral ability to say anything when you let what happened you let a child predator you made friends with somebody who has thoughts of, and when it confronted your response is well they were nice to me well a lot of people like Star Wars yeah there's also people who like hitting their dick with a hammer does that mean everybody knows you hit their dick with a hammer Rosa no no really well my my question here is that why do you want Zaid to lie about his opinion when he is a film reviewer? At that point, his opinion, he should be as honest as possible with his audience about what his opinion is on um, on media. Why are you asking him to lie if he doesn't enjoy it? Th that's really just asking him to completely compromise his integrity just for the sake of appeasing you. Is and that's kind of not okay. Rosa, is it because it makes you feel bad when people say mean things about something you like? Well, no. Oh, really? It's just then everybody the, has different opinions. Yes, and Zaid's opinion that Last Jedi is fecal matter. But, Why does it bother you? But let's just say... You say, let's just say again, I'm going to jump it, into the language family. It's, it, it's mostly, it repeats the same thing like all over it. Like you do? Oh. Let's just say, is your literal catchphrase, you don't have the right to complain about other people repeating themselves. You're a constant broken record. Who cares? Here, let's go ahead and test your, your values here. Um, If Zaid doesn't like The Last Jedi, should he watch it? That's a question for you, Ro. I... If Zaid just, does not like The Last Jedi, do you... I it's a yes or just, no question. It's a yes or no question. It is not an essay question. No. Okay, so here's where I point out the fact that your values are inconsistent. If he doesn't like Last Jedi, you don't think he should watch it. So if you don't like Zaid's opinion, why do you skit self post and follow him all over? Why don't you just ignore him? It's mostly his attitude towards people. Has he threatened anybody? I found a threat you found of a threat? him. Insulting a threat. People. What's the threat? A Repeat threat. It. Repeat it. What's the threat? That car, that car wreck threat. That's not a threat. He can't make you get into a car wreck. Him saying he hopes you get into one is not a threat. Do you know what a threat is? I hope every single child predator gets attacked by wolves and eaten alive. Did I just threaten child predators with wolves? All right, Rose, let me make this just a little bit easier for you. There's an expression that says that people use sometimes out of anger, which is that um, they'll say a sentence and then they'll say you can just drop fucking dead. Something like that. That's not a threat that they want to kill that person. That's a threat that's just they don't give a fuck about that person's opinion. They don't give a fuck about that person after what's been said. It's a statement of disdain. It's not everything that that has something like that attached to it is a threat. Sometimes it's just a fuck off. I don't care what you think kind of thing. 
that Let's sounds make... like what was said. Let's make it easier. Hey, Rosa, define the word threat. Now, if somebody outright said, I'm going to kill you or I'm going to murder you, I'm going to shoot you, that is a threat. However, absent, you know, them stating they will do something that causes harm or worse, it's not a threat. It's an expression of disdain for somebody. Rosa, I want you What about wishing threat? Wishing, wishing harm on people. Wishing harm on people is still not a threat. Define the word threat, Rosa. You have 30 seconds. Yeah, and let's not forget that he actually threatened her Statement in this conversation. Pain, injury, damage, or a hostile action on someone in retribution to something done or not done. I had no idea about that, Ellington. That is hilarious. Then what am I supposed then what am I supposed to do? Do. Get a Let's job, you purple. loser! That's what you're supposed to do. You get a job, and if he bothers you so much, you ignore it and go about your stupid little bitmoji posting ways. That's what you do. Do you think Zayid is some internet evil that must be stopped by the great Rosa Ray Ramsey? Rosa, if his opinion on The Last Jedi is genuinely bothering you so much, there are many options on Twitter that you can explore, such as muting him as a user, or even just outright blocking him. These are fine avenues to make it so you never have to hear from him again if you really don't want to. And you know what? I don't understand why you haven't explored these avenues if his opinion bothers you this much. I mean, it seems like it's living... Again, I... I... <sighs> Okay, so if you're if you're anything like me, you're probably listening to this, you're probably hearing Coyote Lovely throughout all this, and you're like, compared to Lyo, he sounds like the most rational and most, like, stable person in this conversation, for sure, especially compared to Lyo. But let's, let's also not forget the thing that this guy has then gone on to be caught doing, which is he was very much sticking up for and in in bed in the metaphorical sense with uh both Zakylo and with hypnotist Sappho two people that are have done it, like such grotesque things towards animals that I cannot explain um as well as some very very grotesque things towards children um and they've been outed on multiple occasions on doing this so while he is the best person in this moment, he is not the best person overall. <laughs> Pretty rent free in your head. Then why harass him in the similar? Then why harass me and a few others? You're not being like Lily Orchard. Rosa, it, hold on, no, Coyote. I appreciate it, but we're done. This person knows what they're doing. The civility Coyote. is done. No, Rosa, you're talking to me again. Oi. Me. You're talking to Lyle. Don't then sit, tell me, do not Lyle. Sit here. Do not sit here and try to have the audacity of comparing Zaid. To Lily Orchard. I know that she's a big bad boogeyman and most people who say they like cartoons. That doesn't fly here. I've met monsters. So tell me, is Zaid some evil that must be destroyed, must be defeated by the great Rosa Ray Ram? Is that what this is? I'm not that great, but You're though... not great at all. Look at what you've done. You put children in danger. You skip so post about somebody who has mean takes on Star Wars. You say you stand with dirtbags who have no standards at all. What have you done? So again, why are you so obsessed with... This is why anytime somebody comes to me about Zaid, I know they're insane. Because they act like you, Rosa. They all act like you. So tell me, why do you feel you need a schizo post and follow Miss Anthroponia around everywhere? Tell me. What do you think your end goal is? What's your end goal, Rosa? Come on. Come on. Come on. What's your end goal? I just I don't know. Don't. I swear I'm going to broke up. Why can't you? Because it bothers you that he says mean things. About then why spam the same thing about... Because he's welcome to have his opinion because he has that. Why about... Do you, why do you spam your opinion about what he thinks? Oh my god. Jumping fucking Jerusalem. Rosa, block him if it bothers you. Block him! Mute him! Don't fucking engage with it if it's bothering you this much! Jesus fucking Christ! But Coyote, she I'm sorry! She wouldn't get backpacks and accolades from the other then, schizophrenics that do it with her. And of course- Now mind you, now you've now- Again, we've- we've pushed away the- We're gonna be charitable, now we're going on the attack thing, and now it's not just one person attacking them, which- Lyle's a pretty overbearing person, and if you don't have the right temperament and right mentality to handle them, I could see someone very easily becoming overwhelmed or distressed dealing with a Lyle. Very easily. And then add on top of that, now you've got Coyote Lovely, who the who is the guy that you thought may have been in your corner for the first half of this call. Like I said, this went on for four fucking hours. But let's just say, like, <clears throat> you thought he was in your corner. Now he's snapping at you. So, I mean, in... I would say probably in her mind at this point, as well as most people's minds, like especially if you've got um, any sort of like real trauma based associations or anything like that, you're going to think you definitely did something wrong because now the person that was being nice to you is suddenly now also snapping at you. So you're going to automatically go to that point of thinking, holy shit, there's something really wrong with me. And mind you that that's also kind of a dangerous thing for Rosa in her 
her particular situation as she gets anxiety related um, seizures on top of having just in general um, her epilepsy can cause seizures and stuff like that and stress can also bring that on so it's it can this can easily have become a very dangerous situation for her for them not totally understanding anything on with her and i'm not a medical expert i don't know anything about epilepsy i just know from what i was listening to on rosa how dangerous this could have been for her and that was from someone who didn't particularly like rosa and that was intimately involved with the senate to some extent up until probably more recently i don't know but they they were charitable to both sides but really broke down like rosa's like medical history of course, I have another question. Even though he doesn't care that his fans are are there, then who is this person called Gold Z? Is this another one of his accounts? You've been answered on that four different times on or, Twitter, Rosa. Are you too stupid to read band? now? Rosa, pay attention. Take the dicks out of your ear so you can hear me. Do you understand me? You've been answered on that is question. Is this a fan of this? Hey, retard, Tell pay me. attention. Pay attention. And I hate having to use that word. I apologize. I should not have. But Rosa, open your ears. Are you paying attention to what I'm saying to you right now? Tell me, is this a fan Answer of his? Answer my question, moron! Are you paying attention? Can you hear me? Yes. Good. You have been answered on that question four times by four different users on Twitter. Are you too stupid to read? Are you illiterate? Yes or no? No. Then wh all right, can't you read when people answer that question four times on Twitter? Four I can. Then why didn't you even stoop? You were told who that account is. Four times. Four. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Four times. You were told. You were told. Yes. You were told. It's just so why are you asking again, stupid? It's just that it's a guess. Did you look uh, at the mystery? You, hey, stupid! Did you look at the description of the, of the account? Did you pay attention to what was said? The four different people that answered you? No, you didn't. Or you ignored it because you want to try to paint it as dishonest, worthless piece of gutter trash. The best part of you wound up at the bottom of your dad's socks. Do I need to break that down? For Do I need to write it in crayon on construction paper so it's written in a way you understand? At the end of the day, Rosa, it doesn't matter who the fuck that person is because one, it's not Zaid, and two, even if it's a fan of Zaid. He's not in, he's not up to him to fucking control other human beings on the internet. There are other human beings with their own sense of agency who are going to do whatever the fuck they're going to do. So at the end of the day, it doesn't, doesn't matter who that person is. It doesn't fucking matter. Not one little bit. Because Zaid is not responsible for the actions of other human beings. So I don't care what they did. I don't care what they said. It doesn't matter. Unless he directly instructed people to start doing something on his behalf, he is not responsible for the actions of independent third parties. Again, the irony. The irony of him having the audacity to say that. Coyote Lovely, the nice one, in this call, saying all of that while they're literally holding Rosa captive to some extent in this fucking call to berate her for not reporting the actions of another person and all of the other things. Like, I, it's, it drives me insane. Like, really understand that why they have her in this call and then... The fact that, like, they literally are then sitting there and trying to say this Zaid person is, like, ignore them for the exact same reason. Okay, so she ignored what happened in the server, and now you're berating her. And the fact that she should ignore this person because you're okay with them? Like, what? And you're not okay with the other person? Like, that's literally the only thing she could possibly default to in her mind. So, Rosa, if I say I'm a fan of yours and I go stab somebody, are you culpable for it? This is the argument I really want to get into, so I'm probably... I don't know why I think this is a YouTube thing going on to right now, because I've been looking at, like, frames and everything else. I've only dropped five frames, like, not even a full percent. So, not even a full tenth of a percent. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know what is going on. So, I'm going to try and take this back a little bit. So, and it, you know what? It's worth it. Even if it's a fan of Zaid. He's not in, he's just not let's, a, let's just go back a little more because I just, I really think this just drives the fucking point home right here. Or you ignored it because you want to try to paint it as What is with this? Okay. We're going to try one more thing. We're going to worthless piece of gutter trash. Literally close this down to where it is. This is, we're going to close the chat replay in case that is causing an issue. The only other thing I got at this point would be to. Drop the quality, which, okay, it's on like next to nothing. What is going on here? We'll drop it down to literally nothing. You it because you want to try to paint it as dishonest, worthless piece of gutter trash. The best part of you wound up at the bottom of your dad's socks. Do I need to break that down for you? Do I need to write it in crayon on construction paper so it's written in a way you understand? At the end of the day, Rosa, it doesn't matter who the fuck that person is because one, it's not Zaid, and two, even if it's a fan of Zaid, 
He's not in, it's not up to him to fucking control other human beings on the internet. There are other human beings with their own sense of agency who are going to do whatever the fuck they're going to do. How's it so going, Teddy? Day, doesn't give a, doesn't matter who that person is. Doesn't fucking matter. Not one little bit. Because Zaid is not responsible for the actions of other human beings. <laughs> Zaid. I don't care what they did. I don't care what they said. But Rosa is. Unless he directly instructed people to start doing something on his behalf, he is not responsible for the actions of independent third parties. So, Rosa, if I say I'm a fan of yours and I go stab somebody, are you culpable for it? I mean, she could be. Depends on the situation. People have been held. Uh. Yeah. This isn't a response. Come on, I want to answer this. Yes or no? If I say I am a fan of yours, yes. I go stab somebody. Is it oh, Teddy, you don't even know the half of it. It gets worse, too. But yeah, I, I'm thinking about doing an, an... I might do a verdict on Lyo. I really might. Your fault. Yes. Cool. Just so you know... That's I would tell them... You would tell them what? You would tell them what? That it's your fault that I stabbed them? Is that what you tell I them? I should have stabbed them. Well, there's a reason. There's a reason... I, I really want you to concentrate. Okay, so like uh, there's there's an importance here. There's an importance here that I haven't seen people point out. So call this new, call this old, whatever. I'm sure like if you're intimately involved in this situation, not your first rodeo with hearing this call. But listen to this again. Well, you I should have stopped them. YouTube, you're killing me tonight. After we get through this call, I'm going to restart the browser. Well, there's a reason. There's a so he asked right there, it, it garbled and cut off a little bit. You probably don't even have a driver's license, do you? And she's like, well, there's a reason. And listen to this, listen to this, because this will actually come back up when we we're talking about last month. There's no learning. This proves there's no fucking learning from this. The reason I can't drive. Yeah, I know. Because you can't pay attention. No, your there's another reason. Oh, go ahead. Tell us your sad story. There's another reason. I said, tell you me. really want to know the reason why? Well, you seem so desirable to tell us. You keep repeating it. You keep repeating it multiple times. What? No, she just said there's a reason. Come on. I have epilepsy. Well, I had it since I was 11. I a and, it and, and it continued on. Well, you don't care what... You don't care about people with epileptic... About people with epilepsy. You don't care if it happened to them in their lives. And you don't care... Oh Fucking Jesus Mary, mother of God. No, he just doesn't care about you. About the side effects it had on them. I care a lot You apologize for using the one word in the whole of everything we've heard so far. Again, halfway through the call. You've only apologized for using the one word. Man, how big of you. This must have taken so much out of you to sit there and... <laughs> <laughs> just brought yourself to your knees to have to apologize for using one word after you literally threatened to kill this woman at points. Now, it, I get it. It's a figurative statement. You're probably not capable of leaving your house just because you're an agoraphobic or something. I could see that, but you know. He works with me all the time. Are we sure? Are we sure Lyo should own firearms? Like, I'm just going to say that. Like, if, if I were to actually do a, a consult on this guy in any way, shape, or form, I wouldn't allow him to own a firearm. And not for any lack of mental ability. It's just because he's an, he's got a temper. And I mean, I feel like it's very, very, very clearly freaking displayed with how he's treated this individual. He's got a proclivity to using, like, very a derogatory terms, very inflammatory language. Like very demeaning things like i just shouldn't even own a box under a bridge <laughs> you value about what a nice and comfy poor little poor sequel oh, poor, poor. oh my god teddy and in reality he sings about as dumb as a movie because here's the truth and i don't mean i mean the fact that you put your fandom goofy stuff you like above your moral that's what oh oh but let's also remember this guy is braggadocious about being kicked out of multiple Thundercats communities. I don't even know if I did. Okay, I'm be honest. I didn't know there was multiple. I honestly didn't expect there to be more than one. But like, oh my god! Like it, this guy, it just he thinks he is the moral high road in every discussion. Don't do it to me, YouTube. Don't do it. No, it's just that he needs to stop being such a cyber bully. To no, other. hold on a minute. When did you become a fucking expert on what other human beings do and do not need to do? When did you guys? Because <laughs> when last I checked, all anybody really needs to do is eat food, drink water, sleep, 
and die. Those are the four things that are not optional in this world. Everything else is up to your interpretation if you want to do it or not. There are consequences if you do it or if you don't do something. Because... But those are the only four things you have to do. I was not finished speaking, actually. Can I finish? Can I do that? Sure. All right. Those are the only four things that you really don't have an option for. Now I'm finished. Now's your turn to talk. Because because what I've seen there, there's been a lot of harassment. There's a lot of spam. Spam is not harassment. Get me a statue. Do you know what a statue is? Rosa, do you know what a statue is? No. No. Cyberbullying is a crime, which means there has to be precedent, which means you need to know Zaid's state, even down to his county, to determine whether or not what he does under that law falls under cyberbullying as an offense. Then tell well, funny enough, there's also a point that I, I couldn't find a whole lot of uh, a whole lot of great information on, but it's uh, it, it's been it's been uh, it's been mentioned, I guess, a few times in documents as well as like uh, uh, a couple of videos that I've watched that he uh, he actually picked peaches over his wife at one point and made his wife apologize to peaches. Which is, I think, absurd. Like, I, I look, I look at my wife. I would not. She's my best friend. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm going to have her back in every situation. Like, <laughs> I could not imagine having my wife come apologize to somebody on the internet. That is ludicrous to me. But you know, he couldn't take his own advice in that. Tell me, why does he post the same thing? Add me on Discord. Add me on Discord. You've been told why. You've been told why. You've been told why in the previous stream. It's <laughs> interesting, you like why? No, to other. Well, know, it's to other people. I know it's to other people, stupid. Answer my question. You've been told. Did you not pay attention? Because <laughs> I'll tell you, but I want you to admit that you just don't pay attention. You know, I just have a better fucking answer for you. None of your fucking business. You know, Zaid's interpersonal relationships with other human beings that are not you are exactly that. None of your fucking business. And yet here we are with Rosa. He people to add people on Discord or add him on Discord. It doesn't fucking matter. It's not your fucking business. So why don't you shut the fuck up about it? Because it's not your business. And go mind your business. I'll do it because believe it or not, what he's trying to whittle down the amount of people he has to talk about that have been obsessing sometimes in some cases literal criminal activity peaceably, amicably, getting into this and talking to them. You, but more often than not, these calls are pretty amicable. They might get a little but try Again, I've yet to hear them lay out any thing that she's done that is so beyond rapport. That she had to be drug out like this in front of a group of fucking people. Like, gee, it would have been more merciful to tie her to a car bumper and go 50 mile an hour down the road. Like, the stuff that they do in this call is just, it, it's infuriating. It's very infuriating. Trying to resolve she was not to, and deranged maniacs like you, and despite incidentals, he threats of these to happen. Some of you are your son, child, cutie, or trying to attack the people he cares about, or just like you have bigger skeleton results sorry glade I, I i i honestly know that a lot of people have heard this call i'm going for it for a couple different points a yes the inflammatory nation of it but more it's going to be a compare and contrast between this and the other call uh that took place last month and just i, I want to do more of a looking at the evolution and how things in my opinion have not changed um preceding basically the fall of the Senate, which I think is hilarious, but that's just because of why I like history. And if they tell him no, I can him alone completely in this world. That's what I think. And I've told him as, yeah, sometimes he's, I'm not done. Doesn't... I'm not done. You will speak when I am done, see? I hate that tone. Yes. Why does it matter? These aren't your friends. None of these... You die tomorrow, they'll forget you ever exist. Just like every other bit moji moron. So why do you care? The real reason. And do not lie. She hasn't lied yet. All she said is, I don't know at points. Oh, well, what's this account? What's this? To ignore people. Do you think this is your comeback? Do you think that now you're going to be able to prove, oh, Rosa Ray Ramsey the Great's going to take down Zaid with that big, mean internet cyber? Is that what you... Just that I was curious. You weren't curious a dick all because you didn't pay. So again, don't lie to me. I'm not stupid like you. Do you understand me? Jesus, Jesus Christ, do me a favor. Don't just touch grass. Tape some to your fucking forehead. Oh, no, she doesn't need that. What she needs to be is dropped off in the Coyote, world. Coyote, really? Nothing. Not what actual adversity is. See if she can understand the concept of survival. Oh, <laughs> oh, let me talk about survival. Lyle, I don't think you could fucking survive with a goddamn cooler full of food and a night to spend in the woods, okay? Like, I don't. I think the roughest thing about you is finding a crumb in your bed. Like, I, I honestly do not think that you have any toughness about you because I've met people that are actually tough and genuinely, nine times out of ten, they appear to be, like, the nicest people because they don't like that side of themselves. You revel in being mean you revel in doing things that are just audacious and people that are loud mouths like you I, I was actually talking with somebody just the other night like i was in a conversation 
there was somebody in there that was literally like threatening to harm people and like everything else. And to be very honest, I'm not worried about that person ever doing it because I've met the other side of that. I've literally known somebody that's gone on to become a, a mass, a mass casualty, uh, firing pin person. If you get where I'm going. And let me tell you, the guy that went on to do that gave me a coat for Christmas and was actually pretty cool and chill. And I rode in a car alone with him and all this other stuff. And he went on to do some crazy stuff, legitimately crazy stuff. And the people who have always talked and barked really loudly like that typically are not the ones that you have to worry about. Um, because when push comes to shove, they're all bark and no bite. Like I hate using that phrase, but it really does. But yeah, I, 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 I could not see Lyo surviving anything. I think he thinks he's tough because, and this is another point that drives me personally very wild. I'm not much younger than Lyo. I'm not. Uh, I know that takes a lot of people by surprise sometimes, but I grew up with a lot of Vietnam era personnel. I met um, everything from Vietnam era to even World War II era vets and hung out around a lot of them. Okay, some very interesting personalities. The people that I'm I'm imagining his father to be was probably someone where their whole life, they may not have done something that they thought was worthwhile in the military. So when they came back home, they had their opportunity because there was nobody around to say otherwise, and they could make up whatever stories they wanted about whatever stuff that they did. And typically the people who actually did do that kind of stuff didn't talk about it. And they're not very braggadocious. Again, I love that word when it comes to this about it. And it just, it makes me think that he comes from a, a line of people where his dad was probably very abusive to him. Um, his dad probably held very high standards for him. His father, in my opinion, may have been a liar about his actual military history based off of people that I know. Um, and I know a lot, like a lot, a lot. So I've known people my age and I've known people much older than me from various different, um, wars and combats that like, they're not like this. So it just, it, it makes me think. So the fact that he uses that as like a, a bravado type thing to make himself appear tougher is, is a nothing to me. Careful, Lyle. She might take it as a threat. She might. Well, first, she would have to look up the definition. And then have to understand what intent means. Rosa, do your parents know that you skip up posts like this on the internet all day long? Rosa, that's a yes or a no. Uh, no. <laughs> There's a real lack of empathy and sympathy okay. here no, that bothers me. Did you know Zaid has spent the better part of the last year doing self-improvement? Not because he has to, but because he genuinely wants to learn how to be a better human being. Just like, not even just like for other people, for himself. Because uh, a lot of us in the server, we've seen it happen in real fucking time. And as much as a lot of people probably will rip on him, I'm pretty sure just about everybody will acknowledge he's been making a lot of good steps forward. Except maybe Jace, but Jace is an asshole. Yes, I know what Jace was saying. Oh, he still care about Star Wars? Well, then he is, uh, he's nothing is improved. Um, he should just burn his PC and uh, go live in the woods. And the thing is, he'll accept challenges from some of us on self-improvement without any reason to do that. Like, for example, there was one week where I told him, every day I want you to learn how to cook. I got a question, since I do actually have a couple uh, server... Uh, tangential people in here watching right now and a couple of you in chat. Okay, so I've heard some Senate calls. Is is Misanthropony Zaid, is he the individual that's kind of like creepy towards women too? Um, because I don't know. That's a big claim in my opinion. I, he very well could have been, but there wasn't a lot of riverboat patrol personnel in, in Vietnam and a lot of them didn't make it back unfortunately um I, and like in my lifetime i've met um i've met one person who was actually a, at landing zone x-ray in vietnam and he was probably the nicest marine that i've ever had the chance and opportunity to meet and speak with and it was actually at a job and uh if you know what uh uh we were soldiers if you ever watched that movie it's got mel gibson in it that is actually that whole thing is based on the events of landing zone x-ray um uh my mom actually had met um the photographer at one point that was there she's also met the photographer that took the famous picture of the flag raising and 
was very close friends to the family he was and stuff. So like when I say we have an intimate like relationship with veterans through our life, like, yeah, he's lying about working on himself. Let me see if I can find the, okay. Okay. If Queen Serafina did a call on, I'll have to check it out because I, I've watched a couple of Queen Serafina calls on uh, the point that he was crying. Oh my God. But just uh, another thing that also gets me with Lyo is, and it makes me wonder about things with the military thing. And I apologize. I'll get off this. I'll get off this arc really quick after this. There is a uh, conversation that, um, that, oh, I can't remember the whole full context, but I believe it was a brother and his brother was a service member and they were saying things about the brother and the brother came in to kind of stand up for his service member, uh, family member. And, um, he they basically tore this guy apart and were laughing at him and stuff and this is a call i heard months ago we're talking about probably oh god uh december maybe november of last year so cook a new dish and there's nothing that i can do if you choose not to I, I can tell lyo never served I, and if he did it would not have surprised me to have him be some sort of like and this is not shitting on support personnel in any way shape or form Every person that I've talked to, support personnel are a huge facet of a much bigger army and an allow for a lot of things. And, you know, there's there's amazing stories throughout history, but <laughs> you kind of beat me to it, Ellington. I was going to say he he would definitely be a he was either a desk clerk or someone who who for whatever reason, was placed in a position far away from a weapon. Let's just put it that way. Accept this challenge. There's no benefit for doing it either, except you'll know how to cook more things and take care of yourself better. He not only did it, he showed video proof of him. Really? Jar is platforming Zaid. Wow. Knowing how, like learning how to make all of these new things. Just because he wanted to be a better person. <laughs> so he was in. About not wrong. Don't care. The people you think are who have a long list of stuff that you now ask you. Even though I told him about the situation. You didn't tell them and so, you lied to me. Well, let's just say I told them Don't about the situation. Don't tell me let's just say you lying. Jar is an interesting person because I've I've heard both good and bad about him. Um, I actually used a Bo Black's Jar video for kind of explaining uh, that they did do a good breakdown of the breakdown they did. But there was a Bo Black's Jar video with... Uh, them going over the hopeless peaches and um creep show art situation they did a pretty good job on that so but i i'm not surprised to hear that ellington and no need to apologize here actually you do not gotta apologize to me actually actually i told them all about all about that call that we just had during 2022 and they just said that you were behaving aggressively defensive yes. yes i am extremely aggressive thank you i take it as a compliment did they listen? i have another question how many c's and yeah. h's did you have an actually right there did they listen? jesus oh. christ it just, they just they just said did that they you are de being defensive did they, listen? That. did they listen to the whole call yeah you're lying but I'm not lying. Yeah, I'm, telling the, okay, okay. I'm telling the I'm telling the truth. That. We'll test that in a bit because I don't think your parents would sit there and be okay with you letting a pro child predator run around us. I guess. Well, I've already oh, cut. Oh, 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 now we've got to. Now I cut ties to... with Rebecca. It doesn't matter. You were still. Oh, wow. You, 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 cut ties you, with Rebecca. you. Rebecca's a worthless piece of pond scum, too. Yeah, I'll agree on that one. But you were so, you were so desiring to tell us how you two met as though it was written in the stars as though that has any sort of. <laughs> I have another question, and I'm going to add this wolf has a wolf brief on a tangent. But, Rosa, do you really think that screenshotting anything in this server is going to own us, or wreck us, or show us as something to be exposed? Do you really think that's going to... This is an unnecessary tangent. I'm going to jump Priorities. I just don't... You just know. don't... This is kind of the crescendo. Here, let me explain something to you. I work 60 hours. I also have a family I take care of. I have a secondary job work my clients. I also have to deal with a whole bunch of other people's problems. I also do predator hunting on the side, which I need to stop because it's destroying my health. What's your excuse? No, no, Lyle, keep going. Keep going, buddy. Lyle, Lyle, hold on. I want to I want to ask something very uh cuz this one actually made me a little fucking angry. You were too busy to try to reach out to somebody who could help children that might be being preyed upon. <laughs> See her, that made me laugh. <laughs> um, uh this would have been early in um <clears throat> <laughs> m and m probably <laughs> uh 
you Sierra. So this would have been early in Bo Flax's career because I know he brought just a robot on it. It was oh dear lord, I'd have to look. I've got a playlist out there. It's um it should be under just the Lyo Convoy playlist if you just uh if you, I think if you go on my page and you look up the playlist, you should be able to find it. Um, I know that I threw the Just the Robot and Bo Black's video in there for Creepshow Art, but this would have been back when Creepshow Art stuff was going on. I want to say it was 2018, but don't quote me. So it would have been actually pre-Tipster, if I recall right. I see we're covering the furry failed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're we're covering the, uh, the Rosa call right now, which I know has gone over... Uh, I am Grubhub delivery driver. I've heard that, John. I've heard that he does something very similar to that. <laughs> All right, man. Have a good night. But you weren't too busy to start harassing a YouTuber you... about opinions on Star Wars? Is that your priorities? Are those your priorities I that you're right there? Just, I just... Yeah, don't... I'd have a real fucking hard time answering that too if I was you. Because those are some fuck priorities. I just don't... You just... Well, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't... YouTube, you're killing me, buddy. Don't... You're killing me. We're literally at the crescendo here. But you weren't too busy. To... Oh, my God. All right, we're going to do this. I'm going to restart this browser, I swear. Now we're really... See. Harassing a YouTube... Wow, we are really bad right YouTuber now. YouTuber about opinions on Star Wars? Is that your priorities? I know are we were fine. priorities I... that you're right there? I just... Yeah, I'd have a real fucking hard time answering that too if I was you. Oh, we'll touch on Kaffles. I just don't. You just don't. You don't. You don't. You don't. You don't fucking think and you don't give a fuck about anything <laughs> other than yourself. Wolf, how many people got hurt in that server? How many people were actually being preyed upon? They were all adults. They were all adults. I'm not asking you. I'm asking Wolf. Wolf, give me some information about this. I want to know exactly what Rosa has been complicit in. What she was too busy to stop. I'd like to know a little bit more. <laughs> uh, Hello? Are you there? I, I'm, I'm just going to say this straight out. It doesn't really matter if it's one or two. It's like... Oh, that's kind of interesting. I didn't realize the guy that I was recommending earlier is in the chat for this call. There's that Tommy's house guy in here. Hmm. If it's more than one, it's a problem. If it's one at all, it's a problem. Because essentially, your entire priority order is that you being upset at somebody for their opinions on Star Wars was enough to A-log them for at least a fucking week. But you couldn't be fucked to lift a finger to try to help somebody who might actually be in legitimate danger. That is fucked. I hope you understand that. Because that's what I'm getting out of your fucking priorities. If I sound so, a little fucking pissed, maybe it's because I am. Because I have enough... I have enough fucking... I don't know what you would call it. Maybe I'm just a fucking idiot. But I have enough drive in me that I've been actively trying to help people with this kind of shit to my own detriment sometimes <laughs> for over three and a half years. You couldn't be fucked to spend three and a half minutes. Was the car Zarkalo one of those people there, Cody? How long does it take you to normally write a tweet or like any sort of reply to Zaid on Twitter? So like, give me a number. Just a few minutes, I guess. How long do you think it would have taken you to write a tweet about the shit that was happening in Star Server? Yeah, yeah, he did. Strawberry. Well. <laughs> Oh, suddenly the situation's different, though, because it's not a mean opinion you don't agree with. Oh, no. Poor little baby bird. Baby bird doesn't nope, hurt. he doesn't. Baby bird, you gonna be okay, baby bird? Did your parents Fucking open your mouth and talk. Uh, I have another question now. So you said that you... Mind you, again, now we're up to three people actively in the call picking on this person. And like I said, this is just the Lyo converse conversation. Um... There, this doesn't have the hopeless peaches stuff in it. It doesn't have a couple of the other people, but I mean, it, you get an idea just on the side chat. Like, just look through it and just see how people are acting in here. It's infuriating. It's infuriating just because, like, how can you guys listen to this and like be okay with it? You was it? You wish you could. You wish you could tell us and explain to us why you didn't get to this. It's like I get multiple different interpretations. From like the way you say this, are you saying that like something stopping you was stopping you from from spilling the beans? My personal life. That's it. What was your relationship with Neko? Well, I don't know much about her. I just thought she was just some nobody or just a fan. Okay, so I don't. Almost forty over forty. We're fifty minutes in. There's only like fifteen minutes left here. We're now actually getting into like actually discussing again. The whole reason why they drug her into this because of the stuff that she was so bad for. With three people now berating her. What's her history with Star? What's her history with Star? 
I doubt it would do okay. much anything, Ellington, sense. especially being so far I in the past. I just wanted a place to fit it. Hang on, shut up. What did you, what did you say a while before that? I just wanted a place. Would you stop? Okay. Yeah, and honestly, like, look, if you're ever in a situation like this, and you're not, like, comfortable, you can do, like, what Jim's saying. Just call a cyber tip line. Drop a tip. I've fucking done it, Okay. You want to call me a rat for that shit? Call me a rat. Like, I don't care. But I've been in a situation where I looked at the situation and I was like, this is screwed up, and I dropped a tip. <laughs> I just wanted was a place to fit. Hold on, hold on, Rosa. Let me ask you a better question. Is the reason you decided to ignore whatever was sent to you, I don't know what it was, but if there's, is, is the reason why because you didn't want to compromise your little place to fit in? Did you, you prioritize your ability to actually hang out somewhere with people that you thought liked you over the safety of... We're going to listen to that next brief. Others. Did you not like the person who sent you this evidence? Uh, this is just hard for me to say. I suggest you try. You seem to think that you're a fucking smart person. Well, come on, just... You want so desperately to be a hero. That's why you wanted to stop Zaid from being mean about freaking Star Wars. So why is it when it comes to shove, when push actually comes to shove, you freeze up as a just that. An idiot you hang around named Mongrel. None of you are ever going to be a hero of anything because that requires you think that Neko, which leads me to my I question. Just Rosa, did, no. Rosa, do you ever wind up in a kid's DMs? No, I, I don't. sure hope not. I sure hope not. Because if I find I out otherwise, I'm going to rain all sorts of hellfire down on you. Because that has been my my experience that when somebody looks past this stuff, it's because they're complicit in it or they're doing it themselves. Sounds good. See you in a bit. See ya. Well, I don't. We'll see. No, well, you just look the other way because you don't want to fucking jeopardize your little server where you have power and where you have people who like you. You put your like, own self-interest in front of people's safety. You're a piece of shit. Well, it's like you can't. It's not even that. It's like you can't even say it's not like that. You just say over and over again, I wish I could say... So when do we get past I the wishing and when you start getting to the doing? else to say. Y you're so doggone stupid. You're so doggone stupid no, and self-centered. Tell me, Rosa, did your parents raise you by just sitting you in front of a TV all day? Is that the only thing they taught? Be good feelings mean good good thing. Um, if a bad thing happen and make you not have good feelings, uh, that bad. Reality is about adversity and about challenging yourself and growing past it. What's your excuse, Rosa? No, it's that, it's not that you can't. It's that you won't. And I know sooner or later something is going to slip out of the cracks. Do you remember when I talked about the epilepsy? I don't care. Well, not about the epilepsy. I don't. I don't care. The epilepsy uh, has nothing to do. Effect. Shut it. The epilepsy has nothing to do with your lack of moral compunction, you worthless, witless cretin. It does have a side effect. Is a side effect that it's okay for to be around a server where people diddle kids? Is that the side effect here? No. The YouTube, you are killing me tonight. What does it have to do? With and here we go again. With your lack of moral repugnance, your lack of moral. Nope, not gonna work there either. I don't care. The epilepsy uh, has nothing to do. Effect. Shut it. The epilepsy has nothing to do with your lack of moral compunction, you worthless, witless cretin. It does have a side effect. Is a side effect that it's okay for to be around a server where people diddle kids? Is that the side effect here? No. Then what does it have to do with your lack of moral repu your lack of moral punction? Tell me, how does that in any way, shape, or form play into it? Rosa, well, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be completely direct with you right now. I don't give a fuck about the side effects of your epilepsy because they had no fucking bearing on your decision making back at the time that you were able to actually do something. You made a choice that you would do nothing. And all I can tell is because you are a self-serving son of a bitch who decided that you would rather, you know, just look the other way so that you didn't have to risk anyone getting mad at you in the server where you felt like you had friends. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> Die in a ditch. Yeah, you were real proud of being started. You're gonna take that to advice there, Cody? I'm I'm proud to have a friend who's LGBT. Who cares? Also, by the way, that wasn't a threat. That's one of those expressions that I talked about earlier, saying I don't give a fuck about what you think and what you believe, because I think you're a piece of shit. That's what that was. Not a threat. Because I know you're too fucking stupid to know what I said 20 minutes ago. Jesus I have, fuck. I have a better way to go about this. You said you're a, a big family gal, right, Rosa? Spend a lot of time with I, your family? Not by choice. I really want to explain about you. Yes. Yes or no? You said you spent a lot of time yeah. with your family. Does that include yeah. your extended family? Yes. Do you have any younger cousins, nieces, nephews? Some are older. Are they still minors? Yeah, but they're too young. What, what's to too young? So you still have your window open? It's <laughs> not. <laughs> this <laughs> infuriates me. Let me talk to your mom. Let me talk to your mom. Bring your mom in. Yeah, she muted. Well, this was the point where I really didn't like you. I, I just want to say that, like, if there was a point where, like, I really didn't like Kyle in this stuff, this was it. This is the turning point. I mean, this whole fucking call, but... Oh, me. oh, YouTube. YouTube, you need to stop it. Stop it. Oh, my lord. Now we've gone all the way back to the beginning. Thank God I never read from that. But friends, you're a piece of shit. Die in a ditch. Yeah, you were real proud of it.
being Star Giant's friend is what you open Techno Stream with. I'm I'm proud to have a friend who's LGBT. Who cares? Also, by the way, that wasn't a threat. That's one of those expressions that I talked about earlier, saying I don't give a fuck about what you think and what you believe because I think you're a piece of shit. That's what that was. Not a threat. Because I know you're too fucking stupid to know what I said 20 minutes ago. I have, I have a better so way to go about this. You said you're a, a big family gal, right, Rosa? Spend a lot of time with I, your family? I really want to explain much more. Yes. Yes or no? You said you Older? Uh, they still mine. No, open. Okay. It's <laughs> not. <laughs> Is that your mom? <sighs> Let me talk to your mom. Let me talk to your Whoa. Mom. Let me talk to your mom. Bring your mom in. <laughs> yeah, she muted. <laughs> mm. oh, amazing. <sighs> you better close that window, young lady. She sounds. <laughs> she fucking disgusts me. She definitely sounds like a sick. I'll say that she sounds well, she's like gone a sick. Now. She hopped out of call. She sounds like a. <laughs> oh, oh. 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 Okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoever can go to spawn, tell her to get back. In. We're not done. Bring your mom here. I'm oh my god. Bring your mom here. Oh my god. I come back as soon as her mom comes back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm new here, so this was a perfect this was a perfect way to start off. Well, just so you all know, we're we're still streaming to 242 people because. Oh, are we? Is, yeah, this is what oh. I guess I'm good for now. So. What's up, guys? How's it going? Nice. What's up, y'all? Losers. What's up, y'all? Are bitches. We're famous Hello. now. Oh my god. Hello, ladies. Good love. That's not gonna say because if I keep catching you do it, this is gonna happen again. It's gonna be worse. Because next step, cloud it's hunger. Very clear that you can't control yourself. I'm contacting your parents, and I don't want to have to because you're 30 years old and I shouldn't have to. But it's very clear to me that you can't follow instructions. Are you trying to blackmail me? No, I'm. Just... Oh my god. Okay, define blackmail. Why does she have to define everything? Like define blackmail. Jesus. Stupid. That is not blackmail, dumbass. Define blackmail. Jesus fucking Christ. Find the feeling of blackmail. Here, let's try it back. Let's try, let's try it. As a criminal offense. Let's try this again. Hey, stupid, let's try this again. If you walk up to a fence and it says, no trespassing, beware of dog, what happens if you cross that fence? What happens, Rosa, if you cross a fence that has those signs on it? Can you tell me? Hey, uh, hey, hey. Answer the question. Just, what happens? Come on now. If you're going to start sputtering. Don't don't tell okay, since this is sputtering right now, uh, and I'm going to re restart this. I'm just going to restart the browser. So bear with me for a second. Uh, but while that's going, so Rosa does not go outside quite often. The reason being is, is going back to her disability, it's actually quite dangerous for her to be outside. Because if she's outside and she has a seizure, it can very well lead to her getting injured. Um, like falling on a concrete sidewalk, getting brain damage. Um and just things like that that it just her existing in the world it, it, she's open to just by existing in the world so no she doesn't go outside much cross that fence hopefully this fixes the freaking issue we'll find out what happens rosa if you cross a fence that has those signs on it can you tell me hey uh, hey uh, uh, answer the question just what happens do what happens <laughs> don't tell me you don't know i just told you what happens tell me what happens if you are in front of a fence and it says, no trespassing, beware of dog, what happens if you cross that fence? I get attacked. You get mauled by a dog. Was that blackmail or was that cause and effect? It's an effect. So guess what? When I tell you to knock it off or consequences happen, that's cause and effect. I'm not asking for some thing from you. I'm telling you essentially, hey, start actually behaving yourself. You're 30 years old. You're in a complete embarrassment, not only to your bloodline, but to everybody who shares your doggone decade and generation. Well, I have people in my chat freaking out right now because they just realized you're 30 years old and acting. You have been embarrassed in front of 252 people right now. And for the so record, this fucking disgusting. Because I've been live streaming it this whole time because I knew you'd do something stupid. You lie to your parents. You lie to the people around you. And at the day devil himself gave you a back pat, you'd back him up. Oh, they'd absolutely not do this in person, wrong? John. You're you know where 100%. Go to church. How's that sound? Yeah, exactly, Jim. It could be life-ending. That's a great idea. Lord knows you need it. I'm glad we're back to uh, stuttering. Thank, thank you, YouTube. What do I pay you for? Sorry, but I don't go to church. You know how much... How much they frown upon LGBT people. Really? No shit. It's not like it doesn't show or anything, right? <laughs> Do you understand what so, I? Son of a bitch. Okay, we're we're gonna be done with this because it doesn't really go any further from here, um, and I'm getting frustrated with this video. Uh, so from that, so basically, uh, da, 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 do we go into the doodle tone stuff now? Hmm. 
I don't think it's going to add you in. I don't think it's going to add any additional context to things that I couldn't just tell you. So I think we're going to skip that. If we come across it when we go through stuff later, we'll get to it when we get there. But, um, and again, like all this stuff will be available in the playlist that I do. But uh, we're going to go into the Raven call. So mind you, again, t- February 2023 is when all that happened. Um, from what I understand, now mind you, I have not, I'm not really found it. I haven't really like looked into it too much either. So I can't say a whole lot here, but apparently after this call, they issued an apology to Rosa. Um, I don't know how well received that apology was because from what I understand, um, she had a really bad time after this call for lack of better way to say things. And she ended up, uh, like bedridden for a couple days at the very least. Um, it may have been longer than that. I can't really find a whole lot of great information again, so I apologize. But, um, yeah, she, uh, she, she was not in a good space. So, but things, according to them, they apologize, things change to get back on track here. And so we're going to look at these. These calls are not really looked at a lot. So this first call is the shorter of the ones. What has happened in this call is you're going to hear bits and pieces of Lyo speaking to someone called Raven. The information that Raven is going to give has been redacted by this person who houses this call, I believe, or possibly uh, someone prior to that. Uh, Again, I know the call existed somewhere. I've looked, I've tried really hard to find the full call because it did have a little bit better context on things. Um, But some things that you will not hear in this is uh according to omnia they never apologized to her oh wow but uh so with this call lyo actually rage quits the call and you'll see why i'm not going to ruin this for anybody um but it ends up falling in the lap of like uh someone pretty new i'm guessing to like either the mod team or something to end up having to handle this whole situation because Again, a lot has happened since that initial Rosa call and this call. You've had the falling out with Coyote Lovely. You've had a lot of like these uh, these trusted individuals in the inner circle of so to speak fall out. So there wasn't a whole lot of people to pick up the slack. So Raven, can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, and then I'm going to try try my best to bump us all the way up to like 720 on this because there's things to read in this okay i'm gonna ask you some personal are we really gonna start already so raven can you hear me i can hear you okay i'm gonna ask you some personal questions okay all right all right so you're on the spectrum right yes sir okay when you were given your diagnosis what was the exactly the diagnosis um, the diagnosis was, and again, th- this might sound choppy, but I'm watching the timer on this, um, just because things are cut out and redacted. So you're going to hear things where like, she'll speak and it'll cut off abruptly. That's not necessarily the video messing up. Um, it could just be that it was redacted, but as you can see on the screen, this call was also in front of a hundred plus people. Come on. Okay. And what does that mean? Uh, I'm going to uh, go back just a hair. Okay, and what does that mean? Um, in general... See, that's the call glitching. Really in- Come on now. Please, I apologize. This is not typically like this. We are going to try one additional measure. Come on. No internet. Connected security. I think we're back. Although now I lost my chat. Oh, come on. This window. And we will go with this. Apologies if I lost anybody in that. I tried to do something and it ended up costing me. So let's see. I don't exactly know what's going on with this window here. We can go back here. I should be able to Means. start this call. I don't know if we're going to be any better. Diagnosis was... Okay, what does that mean? Um, it Generally, it means that... Um... Okay. Do, do you, li- you live with your parents, right? Okay, so both your parents. Are they um, your 
guardians? Do they take care of all your business and whatnot? Or do you? Um, okay, that's not what I asked. What I mean oh. is, can you say sign for car insurance? Sign. Are you permitted to get a loan? Are you able to join the military if you wanted to? Or would you need your parents' permission to do these things? Okay, if you were to sign for a loan, would your parents need to sign for it as well or just you? Might be or would be, because there's, there's a difference there. That tells me your parents probably do have some form of control over you because you are on the spectrum. Do you have a driver's license? Why do you not have a driver's license? Okay, my question is why though? Why did you not do that? Uh, okay. Excuse me. I'm not going to go further on that. I'm asking for a reason, Lumi, before you interrupt. Uh, I was going to ask what the relevance of being able to drive was. I told you I'm asking that for a reason. Can uh, you please let me work here? Thank you. I'm asking you these questions because I'm trying to determine as best I can where you are mentally, because I know even with high functioning autism, sometimes their brain is closer to um, the cognition of a child. Their brain is closer to um, the cognition of a child. So I need you to be honest with me. At any point, did any doctor tell you that you have cognition at a certain age or, or that your mind is at a certain age specifically? Okay, I'm just, I'm just jumping in right now. I've muted Lyo and I'm going to talk and then I'm going to go because uh, I have a few more minutes. I was listening in. Uh, qu questions are too personal, irrelevant. For those of you that may not know, that is Hopeless Features that you hear talking there. Uh, so she is actually putting a kibosh on this, um, ironically, uh, which it's ironic because there's going to be, a, like I said, there's a couple follow-up calls that we're going to hear at this after this. Good Lord. Um, but yeah, he he's trying to kind of gauge what's going on mental capacity was. It's not his business. And uh, Peach just does a pretty good job, I think, of putting this up here as well as the other person. You're going to find out the other person that you have initially heard speak, which if you didn't, I can go back and play stuff. But the other person that you hear speak uh, before you hear Hopeless Peaches here is actually sent in by Peaches. Um, this takes place over a lot larger span of time than just the 13 minute call that we actually have here so uh just for context uh it doesn't matter um you don't need to answer anything you don't need to raven because uh at the end of the day uh we're strangers on the internet so i'm gonna lay some ground rules for this call it doesn't matter um raven's here talking and it's still stuttering. Why are we stuttering? Why are we stuttering so much? Ground rule. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. This is not typically how I have this go. But we do have a good timestamp. I'm just jumping in right now. I do we have a good timestamp? Are you going to cooperate? I'm Lyo and I'm what is talk. with you? Internet. Internet. And Can we please? Okay, I'm just going to let that buffer. But, um... I apologize. It is not normally this choppy. I am I am almost at a loss for what is going on, other than it being a YouTube issue, because everything else seems to be running just fine. I'm just jumping in right now. I've muted Lyo, and I'm going to talk, and then I'm going to go, because uh, I have a few more minutes. I was listening in. What is with this? This is driving me absolutely insane. We're about to go to the last resort, which is to download these. Downloaded. Uh, cancel. Oh, bear with me. I'm going to try. Qu questions are too personal, irrelevant. Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, there we go. You don't need to answer anything. You don't need to raven because uh, at the end of the day, uh, we're strangers on the internet. So I'm gonna lay some ground rules for this call. It doesn't. Matter. Okay, we're officially just gonna try this. It doesn't matter. Um. Raven's here talking, you're not yelling or shouting at anyone, you're here to listen to people. So, um, therefore, I say the best course of action is for a call. Is to okay, I'm nearly convinced that this is YouTube because this is on the out. downloaded video at this point, that it's also doing this. My oh my oh my. These are important too, so we need to hear them. 
because uh, at the end of the day, uh, we're strangers on the internet. So I'm gonna lay some ground rules for this call. It doesn't matter. Um, Raven's here talking. You're not yelling or shouting at anyone. You're here to listen to people. So um, therefore, I say the best course of action is for a call is to just lay out what was wrong with the actions um, and give an explanation on how best to avoid this kind of uh, situation in the future. Is Does everyone agree with that? I agree with this. Also, Aaron, Lyo stepped down from the stage. Um... So this is after the call Lyo, with Raven. Lyo, yeah. I just... Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you just fine. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Right. I don't want to come in here, like, angry. I don't want to come in here yelling. But I personally think it was going a bit too far. Like, you know, it's very obvious to me that my thought processes aren't trusted here. I'm just going to say that outright. It's not about trust. It is not no, about stop, trust at all. stop. Can Are you I, cutting I, me off again? No, go ahead. I'm not hey. trying to, Lumi. I'm trying to explain my thought process here. Yeah, but, like, okay. you, hold on, Hidden. You don't let me finish what I'm saying, and then you're cutting me off again? I just said that I don't think I'm trusted, and I was trying to expand, and you interjected. I was just trying to finish my thought. All right, in that case, I apologize. I back away, but we do trust you. We do. <laughs> if we didn't, we wouldn't <laughs> and so it only cool. gets worse. You if you have a problem with something. And one other person. You How's it going, Huggy? If anybody else here is muted in the middle of a gallery call in front of 100 people. Would you prefer I kept my mouth shut and let that continue? Oh, what I would prefer is to be treated with some civility, because frankly, the person who put those people in danger was treated with more civility than I was in that call. Okay, and uh, God, I hope it works after we play this. I have YouTube, please be kind to me. But um, as you can see here, and I think you get a bit of context with what you've heard with the call initially and now just kind of what's being said contextually on the screen, plus, you know, how the mods are handling this. Um, this situation was very, very similar to the Rosa call as far as like somebody who uh, is on the very same level of um, developmental or uh, mental impairment, I guess would probably be the best way to put it. So it's just kind of funny because, you know, Lyle immediately turns into, like Ellington said, a bit of a baby. How so? Because I told you that you were going too I'll far expand. on something? Go on. You did not come in and say I was going too far. You came in and asked for the relevancy, which I was yep. trying to state. And then Aaron comes in, server mutes me, embarrasses me in front of a hundred something people instead of just talking to me because Aaron has been micromanaging me for the past three days now because they're scared and apparently i'm a screw up so that's what they do managing i wouldn't call it micromanaging personally because i do not see the relevance I of be i know i'm breaking up no look i want to okay relevance right how is driving being able to drive a car relevant to be to being cognizant and being able to understand things how is that a sign of it i i literally told you i literally you in a call i literally said that you are breaking up and I cannot understand you. In that her love was trying to do. You're gonna have to tell me. Yeah, I can hear you better now. I genuinely could not hear you and I want to have this conversation and make it as productive as possible so I do need to understand you to be able to have that conversation. I know. I'm not blaming you for my connection issues. That would be really stupid. I explained in plain English in that call why I was going that direction. I made it abundantly clear why I was. And instead of that being respected and understood, I had somebody come in the call, talk down to me, server mute me, and treat me like a child again. I am sick and tired of being told how I'm trusted when I clearly am not. Okay, but like, because you're trusted doesn't mean you're not going to be corrected if somebody, if you do something that somebody else thinks Excuse is me. wrong. There's a difference between correction and intentionally embarrassing somebody in front of 100 plus people. That was not the intention, and we both know it. I don't know, Lumi. We I don't do. both know it. No, we don't. I do. We don't know that. I and do. And I could give you my thought process, but your mind's made up, so I'm not going to. Okay, but just for a second, I just want to bring this up because I think it's important. The reason that these questions were stopped, because we all understand the, the intention. That's not the problem. The intention was you wanted to figure out how much their autism is affecting their ability to make decisions. That's fine. 
that's absolutely mm -hmm. fine. Like the baseline of those questions are absolutely okay. The problem is the further you went on, you started asking questions that have incredibly bad implications. Use a different mic. I'm fucking tired. We're using my phone speaker, whatever. <laughs> that works. Go for yeah. it. Okay, so my point was being um, that when you made these, when you ask these questions, the implication behind these questions gives people the wrong idea. Asking something like, do you have a driver's license? And then getting no, like getting the answer to no, and then going, but why? Gives people the implication that since you're asking whether or not they're able to like, or since you're asking to determine whether or not they can function properly, you basically with that question, what you're saying is, oh, if you don't have a driver's license and you can't drive, you are unable to function. So instead oh, of ahead. DMing me and asking me to check my DMs, that happens? None of you would have done that for anybody else. Nobody would have hopped on that call and server muted me and embarrassed me for anybody else. Embarrassed him. None of you would have done that to Aaron. None of you would have done that to Lumi. Oh, no, 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 no. You do not get to say that about me because we both know Aaron would have server muted me. Aaron would be chewing me out right now if I had pulled anything like that. Aaron's a lot harder on me than you think. I didn't say anybody without Aaron. My point was it wouldn't have happened with the rest of you. It would have. If no, any, I don't think it would. Yes, if any of us had done the same, the treatment would be exactly the same. If I disagree with anyone on staff, I'm happy to DM them and tell them. But if it's happening in the moment, and when I poke it, I'm like, hey, I don't know what the relevance of this is. Hey, implying, hey, we should stop it here. And you continue, like, hey, no offense, I can't exactly blame Aaron if the conclusion they came to was, okay, he's not going to stop. I might have to server mute him. Because I was explaining the reasoning for it. And instead of Aaron coming in and saying, check your messages or anything like that, that happens. And no, I'm not going to sit here and argue with you about the intention there because Aaron has absolutely intentionally embarrassed me before. And I know why. You may not believe it, but I do. Yes, I have more trust in Aaron than, I, than you then. Because I know that Aaron's not the thank time to go back, around fucking thank, public Thank you for the backhanded insult. I appreciate that. Damn, thanks for cutting me off again. I apologize. Making a new habit of it? Because you've been doing that again recently. Think I haven't noticed? Think people haven't pointed it out to me? You think I'm doing it intentionally? Somehow it only happens to me. If I may, um, I will say this, that Lumi did, like, I jumped in call with Lumi after that call happened, and Lumi was very open with me about things I did wrong in that call. It's not just criticism of you, it's, like, Lumi is very upfront with anyone else, and just did the same for me literally, like, 10, 15 minutes ago. I ended the stage, so we wouldn't drag it on either. Because I knew that if I ended the stage sooner, we'd be able to get into the call faster and we'd be able to talk about it. Problem isn't criticism. The problem is how it was handled. Because if I had done that to Aaron, there would be a complete meltdown I'd be dealing with right now. We both know that. That's why I left the call altogether. Because if I'm not going to be respected, if I'm not going to genuinely be trusted, and let's be clear here, I wasn't at the moment, then why am I there? And if Susie comes to me now and says that she doesn't want to do this in Senate anymore because of that call, I wouldn't even blame her. Aaron is stressed and gun shy because of the Rosa call circulating. So he has been overcorrecting and he has been needling me and micromanaging everything I say and do publicly for the past few days. It's why I was accused of defending the Rosa call when my text literally said the exact opposite and accused of ableism because Aaron is overcorrecting. I'm sorry, I wanted to pause right there because I wanted to read that. <laughs> Uh, the criticism was brushed off, the entire way it restructured. Uh, hmm. So this is referring back to the previous Rosa call. And accused of ableism, because Aaron is overcorrecting. No, okay, hold on. That call... Okay, hold on. Yeah. That, that call should not have been a kumbaya <laughs> call. It should not have been a, let's go ahead and hold your hand. Or even do what they were doing, they were cognizant of it. The reason why I went so hard on the driving thing was to determine whether or not she was lying to me about her guardianship because we've already dealt with people who have done that before. And I already caught her in two lies previously. It wasn't to devalue whether or not people drive. I couldn't care less. It was to find out if she was lying about the reason. How does driving fall into that? How? Explain it to me so it can make sense beyond frankly coming across as just coming out of nowhere. Explain it to me then. Because there's a lot of people on the spectrum that I have dealt with who have tried to get driver's license and their parents put a stop to it because they are on the spectrum. 
And because they have legal guardianship, they are capable of doing so. That's why. But would that person even know that that's why it was put to a stop to? If they're a guardian? If there's yeah. a guardianship on them? Yeah, they, they would. They would know. You kind of have to be pretty blunt about that. And if Raven can do commentaries, they can put two and two together to that point. Hello. Okay. Before we okay. start this call. So uh, a couple of things there just for people who don't totally realize what's going on. Um, so Aaron, the person that you kept hearing referred to in that call is Hopeless Peaches. I don't know if everybody knows necessarily that, um, again, they're, uh, they've changed their pronouns. I don't know if they're transitioning in any way, shape or form, but they're requesting to be identified as Aaron and uh, using he, him pronouns. And so uh, Aaron... When you hear Lyle referring to Aaron, he's referring to Hopeless Peaches. Hopeless Peaches put together these three videos from her docket that she she, she had uh, dropped on um, Lyle Convoy, basically accusing of him of some pretty pretty rough stuff. Um, basically that he's an abuser and a couple other things, and I would have sat there and not accepted it as willingly, um, if it wasn't for, uh, Akumo and, or Akumo, I can't remember who actually interviewed Jordan, but Jordan was, uh, another person who actually lived in the household with, um, there was Jordan Ali, I believe, um, uh, Aaron Hopeless Peaches, um, and there was another person who I cannot remember for the life of me right now. There's four people, I believe, that have actually lived with Lyo. And so <clears throat> Peaches uh, called him out for being abusive. And if it wasn't for the Jordan call and the stuff that with Jordan that came out uh, previously, it was Akuma. Okay. No, you're not 100%, but I, I think you might be right. But if it wasn't for Jordan speaking with uh, Lyo or speaking with Akumo, uh, I believe um we wouldn't know that lyo was abusive towards them too so it, it's got a little bit more credibility i think when you weigh in the fact of she's not the only one saying this yeah there there's another portion with that where it's three kids again the kids moniker is coming directly from lyo calling these people sons and daughters and stuff like that almost every one of them if not all of them uh were well over uh, opal opal okay so jordan j opal and then hope so hopeless peaches did not live with lyo at all i was under the understanding that hopeless peaches did live with lyo for at least a portion of the time or are you just saying that they weren't a kid uh which in that case i know it gets kind of sketchy because people were over the age of 18 let's put it that way uh, and some of them were issued or uh, referred to as kids or issued this title of kid. It gets freaking weird, in my opinion. Um, there are weird questions to ask if the context is missing, but I'm just trucking along this mod interview. All mods need to be able to drive, apparently. <laughs> okay, so Peaches did not live with him. Okay. I thought Peaches had come over from... Uh, they wanted to bring pieces in for Thanksgiving, but it failed. Okay, that makes more sense now. I knew that Peaches was over in the uh, in UK, but I, I thought she had come over for a short period of time or something. Okay, so Opal, Jay, and Jordan were the only three. Okay, that makes more sense. So the allegations of abuse, then, I would say are a little more suspect, especially being out of reach, so to speak. Um, but I guess, you know, verbal abuse and if they had a more intimate relationship, like is being alluded to with things, I could definitely see that, um, being led into, but I, there's a very strong, there's a very strong compare and contrast between these two next calls that you're going to hear. Um, I'm, I know it's going to take some time, but I really want to play them at normal speed. A, because I don't know if YouTube will handle it if I try and play it any faster. B, because there's a very big tonal shift between call one and call two. And Peaches gives an explanation for that. I don't know if I necessarily agree with the explanation that she gives, but there's a very big tonal shift. You're going to hear a very... Uh, uh, 
passive peaches, I guess would be the best way to explain it in this call, and a more um more aggressive peaches in the second call. So just listen for that. But this is regards to uh the mod call that you just heard. So these are follow-up calls the next day. And I believe possibly even a little longer after that for the second call. I don't know the time frame, uh, but yeah, let's just start taking a listen. Hello. So what's this about me hating you? YouTube. It's actually, I just even checked the weather. It's not even bad out. So like, I don't understand. Like it's not raining. It's not snowing. It's cold enough to snow. It's cold enough to freeze. Hello. Bro. Hello. Hello. So what's this about me hating you? Well, you heard that, like, you were ups upset with me in the mod call. Okay. From who? Nobody breathe. That's plain. The people in the mod call. Because... I would like a name, please. Because you... Hi, Sierra. I'm back as well. Because <laughs> you thought I did it to embarrass you. I want a name, Aaron. Because, like, I just... <laughs> Because I'm upset that, like, you think that, <laughs> like, I'm doing it to embarrass you when, like, I pinged you a couple times and then. It's okay, you Ellington. Went there, into there's the a lot of. Me because I was getting ready to leave. There's a lot of cry language out, with this. And then, like, you snapped to him because, like, he asked, like, what the relevance was. And, like, I put it again. And that's why I jumped in because, like, I wanted to jump in quickly, and that's why I so amused you, just so, like, I could jump in just to say it just before, like, just in case Raven, like, said anything that's, like, overly personal. It wasn't, like, a dig at you. It was because, like, I tried a couple times and it was going on long enough that, like, Raven could start saying personal information. That's it. And then, like, I only meant it to be, like, while I was talking and then unmute you again and then leave because I wanted to leave. You've stated that, but I just... Again and then leave because I wanted to leave. You've stated that, but I just asked you, you who? You didn't respond. I wasn't going to. Why? Not for now. Because I'd rather talk to you once I am completely cleared, and once I know that I'm okay to have that conversation. What's this about a recording? Well, obviously, all mod calls are recorded. Recorded. <laughs> so, in a mod call where I talk about how I don't feel like I'm trusted, the response to me being distressed and me being upset is to record it, tell you, and not tell me what's being communicated. Well, you were saying I only did it to embarrass you, so obviously they wanted to know yes, my perspective. Yes, because I was fr So instead of actually having a conversation, they just literally go behind my back and do this. Well, you didn't have me in that mod call either. You weren't there. Yeah, but you were talking about It wasn't me. even- Oh my god. You brought all the mods in to talk about, I like, didn't, how are you going- I didn't- br I did not- I did not bring all the mods in. I didn't bring all the mods in. I didn't call them into a meeting. Lumi wanted to chat. I hopped in chat. I did not summon the other mods. Well, and I told them how I felt. I told them the truth. Mm -hmm. And the response to, I don't feel like I'm trusted, is to essentially prove me right. Well, you don't trust me either. Aaron, I do trust you. You were saying that and I you just know did I do. it just to embarrass you. Because, Aaron, you have done that. Just to embarrass you? I didn't. I did it to protect Raven so they didn't say overly personal information. Aaron, do you really not understand why I'd have an issue with how you went about that? I I, I pinged you twice and Lumi went in to say what you I wanted know. to say and you snapped at him. What else am I supposed to do? I Just wait? Aaron, can I answer? And again, pay attention to her tone here. Number one, you know full well I'm not always staring at my phone, especially when I'm at work. I'm not going to see pings. Not like that. Somebody could have easily just DM'd me, and Louie could have popped in asking me to check it, which you guys have done multiple times in other calls. Okay, but I wanted multiple to Multiple times. But what's yep. the difference? Not, okay. How is it embarrassing for me to just say that, like, the, the, the conversation is going askew, and the questions aren't helping? 
and to just that's not what you did and if you want to me if you want to talk then you've got to let me talk instead of just turning around saying that everything you did was fine instead of hearing out what my issue here is then i was gonna just let rest for a while that i wasn't gonna need immediately jump on but apparently now i have to because see it and now it's now it's buffering again i did nothing to it <laughs> I'm going to try one more thing. I promise I'm not going to crash the stream. I promise, I promise, I promise. But here's the thing. I'm not going to be able to reply if this works. So I'll have to like look at the stream and read your messages over on my little peep window here. So, which I cannot scroll. So if I miss your message. I apologize in advance. People decide to, to message you and freak you out. Well, they, because they were asking, they were asking me. I swear, if it's that program that has been causing me issues all night. Why, I did it. I told them, I told them, I, 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 I would speak to you about it. Yeah, but like... I think it was that darn program. Okay, I'm going to go back a little bit. I apologize. Let's see. We'll, we'll find out real quick. If it's my program. Apparently now I have to. Because people decide to, to message you and freak you out. Well, they, because they were asking, they were asking me... Why I did it? Not to self. I told them, I told them, I, 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 I would speak to you about it. Yeah, but like you heard that I would talk to you about it. Yeah, but like they also want to know like why I do things. She doesn't totally turn off the soft voice. She kind of goes from this whole call. So we got like thirty minutes of this, and then. The second call is like a complete personality switch, which I think, like you guys are saying, it does actually um, feed into the whole fact that there's something really messed up here. Threw under and accused them of abusing him too. There's no doubt in my mind she makes the money. Honestly, I believe it in any of these calls. Credibility to Aaron's statement. What is he? Alvin? <laughs> Oh, one yeah, he's a, took a single issue. He would issue. like to think that he's a Power Ranger. So it wasn't to come see why you did something. It was pretty obvious why you did it, which is why it was defended in the call, as you heard. Well, I didn't. And I told you, because if you've heard that call, go ahead. I didn't hear the call. You literally told Leah that you heard it. But did you hear a call or not? No, I heard what was going on from people, and then I knew that it... it it was recorded. Who said it was recorded? Oh. Hold on just a second. I apologize. I gotta do one small thing right now. Apologize. I gotta all right. Um, all of them. Even though I'm sure all of them weren't recording, they somehow knew it was recorded. I don't know who was Aaron, just say Lumi. I don't like Just it. just just say Lumi. Well, I don't know who was recording it because Lumi's not told me about the call. Then who told you about the call? Because you keep saying multiple people, you keep saying recording, but you won't tell me names. Mm -hmm. And I don't appreciate that. So now you're saying that I hate you? I was going to allow it to try and play, but it's not going to let it. I just want to make sure. Do, 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 do. Okay. All right. Everything looks okay. And I don't trust you? Yeah, because you think that I do things solely to just embarrass you. And yesterday, you were saying that like <laughs> i might have caused it spaz out we'll see if it goes away. yeah it's spaz out a little bit we'll go back to just a hair it embarrass you and yesterday you were saying that like here comes the waterworks <laughs> the main reason why i'm upset about the rosa call is because it's public <laughs> and then like that is not what i said that is and you that is not what I said. He we, cracks so, on. so easily. How, how many times do I have to go back and tell you that's not what was said? Because it wasn't. Because we talked about this yesterday, too. So what's going on here? Do you just assume things about me like that? No, because you said it was sort of... It was amazing. So I was upset about it. And it took until, like, I was crying about it. For you to, and you were saying that. It's like, that. well, that's what you said. And that's what you said, and that's not. I did not say the main thing, and I have, I've corrected you on that multiple times. So why do you keep saying that that's what I said when it's not? Because you said it was one of the main th reasons why I was upset. 
It is one of the main reasons why you're upset. It isn't, though. And I... how, how is it? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Upset about what? <laughs> the cult. You are upset that it was made public because it's what you keep bringing to me every time you're reminded of it. And every time I consistently apologize for the fact that it was. So, yes, that is something you're upset about. You've made that very clear. I was saying that I'm upset that it was made pub public in in a way where even the title and everything was also mocking, mocking Roser and stuff. And, like... <laughs> And, and like it was, and it was human to Mercer and stuff, but the actual the actual call like I am upset about regardless of it because it makes me hate myself. Which you have stated. So how am I wrong? Because you make it sound like. <laughs> but Aaron. Like, you, please, you, you've got to stop ascribing that level of intent that was never stated. Or, like earlier, when we were having another conversation, and you kept repeating it over and over and over again there, too. Yeah. It, it's not spaced out. And now, I, I just want to point out that if you, if, if you paid attention to what's being shown on screen a couple times here, um, this is uh, about the... About the uh, Oh, a third or fourth time, I think, if you've really paid attention to stuff that, um, oh my God, I'm trying to remember my train of thought. The age regression. She mentions the age regression. This is like the third time. Doubt. No, no, I don't remember. I was just going to say it because, because yesterday you kept cutting me off and like, I was trying to talk about my feelings <laughs> and like today. Cutting you off when? And like today, cutting you off when? But you're telling me that I kept interjecting and whatnot. If I did, it wasn't because I was trying to cut you off. It's because my reception was dog crap, and I was trying to understand what you were saying. You kept, you kept, you kept saying you know and you get it over and over again when I was trying to say how I felt. Aaron, because you kept repeating the same things over and over because again. Because I wanted to talk about the fact that like. I have been worrying a lot lately about stuff and it's making me like like what? Well, anxious about everything and like I don't mean to be annoying when I like repeat myself <laughs> but when I don't repeat myself people start assuming what I mean who's people because I'm not those people <laughs> but you, 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 you do today you did today because you you started saying that like I was doing everything to just embarrass you, and I wasn't. I was. You... I. The reason why I had to cut in was because was because, like I didn't want to wait until Raven gave personal information, and that was a condemnation on you because I know what you're trying to ask. No, you don't. Stop. When I am communicating to you that something like that bothered me and why, continuing to justify it without <laughs> hearing me out does not help. Because you did not come in there acting concerned. You did not come in there. You could have found multiple ways to properly get my attention. What you did, Aaron, was you came in there, announced that you server muted me, condemned what I was going on about. That's why I left. Because in front, of, in front of 103 people, you came in unannounced, server muted me, announced it, made it very clear you condemned what I was doing. So I left. Because why in the world would I stay when it's clear that you don't think I can handle that conversation without you coming in and having to wrangle me? Because, Your words. Because you didn't listen. And when Lumi went in to also say something, you snapped at him. I did not... I, I under I just want to address chat real quick. I understand that if he's posted it publicly, it, I no, I would agree it's not a dox. Um, but I still, Lyle's not here to give his okay on that stuff being put out in this chat, and so I don't want someone else putting it out there. Um, and <laughs> you're okay, Jim. Don't worry about it. Uh, um, I just don't want anybody else putting it out there against 
his uh his wishes you know it i and i don't know his situation at home so i i can't substantiate that his wife appreciates it and all that like i can say that i've gone on i've seen doxes of i've seen what lyle looks like i know what his wife looks like i could say a lot of things and i knew that so i apologize that that's also why i was also getting a little off course while um, trying to explain myself with the age aggression thing. I was trying to figure out a way to get in the chat to make sure things got handled. But <clears throat> yeah, I believe the spams are over with now, Sierra. Uh, I just wanted to apologize to everybody. You know, if Lyle was here and he said that he didn't care, that's one thing. Um, you know, I, I, I just want to apologize. So snap at Lumi. I said, if you'll give me a moment, I will and... show you how. How I'm trying to do this. I paused YouTube and it's going to hit me. Lumi, I said, if you'll give me a mo moment. Come on, you can do it. I will show you how I'm trying to do this. Yes, and we Lumi saw. Lumi did not come in and say. We were so. Lord. Because I messaged you. No, because you. Aaron. No, because you keep saying, stop assuming things and then you go around and and talk about me like i'm a terrible person whose only thing is yeah, that i think I we're good care in the world about people i just come in to embarrass you that is you can't have a you I can't have said it and you can't have moderators when you're doing conflict resolution and you're asking super personal information from somebody and somebody says i don't agree i do not agree what else do you want me to do? Do you want me to just sit there and wait? I just... Now you notice the tonal shift, like, it's starting to get a little more aggressive here. I tried. I tried. Can you stop? Stop. Aaron, stop. I'm trying to talk to you. I'm trying to tell you why I feel the way I feel. I'm trying to tell you why I think the way I think. And instead of listening to me, which is what you require of me and what I always give you, you're just continuing to justify it and tell me to essentially shut up and I'm wrong. Yeah. And you've done this multiple times now. You literally said that I had no concern and no care. I just came in just to embarrass you. That's how it felt, yes. <laughs> that is 100% how it felt to me, which is why... Then I won't I moderate in Senate time. anymore. Then I won't moderate That's not in what Senate I, anymore. Can you, can you stop... Can no. you stop that, please? No, please, no, please actually, listen to me. No, please I'm listen to no, me. No, I'm not. I'm actually finished. I'm done. Because, no. Aaron. You can't sit there. Aaron, and say stop. That, no, you can't sit there and say that you want conflict resolution and you want. I'm tentative about pausing it, but yes, Dragoness, you are correct. Uh, yeah, it, she definitely does lose, and that's the thing that kind of makes me question. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't like questioning anybody's uh, disabilities one way or the other. But the fact that she goes from the the sniffling, crying crocodile tears to being so aggressive makes me question the whole age regression portion of her story. And I don't mean that to sound derogatory or demeaning or whatever, but. Um, yeah, it's just, it doesn't sound believable to me, I'll just be honest. People to criticize you when it's needed to. I didn't go in there. Here we go. That. With, I think, like, and let so it play. It'll eventually get right back on track. Person. I said that I don't agree with how Because I've been noticing now about it. that it does this, like, two, three times, and if it does it after yeah. that, it should be fine. To move on. And of course, it's going to prove me wrong just because I'm watching it. Because Raven could stop. Yep. Boo -boo. Being a terrible don't do it. Person. I said that I don't agree with how you're going about it and it needs to move on because Raven could start giving off personal information. And, and I just wanted to stop that because I pinged you twice. Lumi came in to be more polite about it and Lumi did ask. Lumi actually asked, what's the point? And you shut him down, snapped at him and just said, well, you'll figure it out. That was paraphrasing. Don't come at me for that. I'm saying that that's paraphrasing of essentially you saying, shut up and find out. When we couldn't, it wasn't something that we could have a little conversation after because I'm trying to be preventative. That's why What's I did super it. Personal information? it. I don't know. What's but, super personal information? I don't know, but like, 
sometimes people can like start talking about their diagnoses online and which they may not like you know which some people don't like disclo disclosing publicly um the 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 driving thing um a lot of people uh that one didn't even really help be just because so many people can't drive for a myriad of of of, of different reasons and like i was doing it doing it to be to be preventative see this is really where it gets start to get bit because manipulative you heard coming back like what you said about rosa yesterday and like it's like the mask it, slipped for a like, minute you seems like you were receptive, but then when we spoke in private, you were mad at me again. I was mad. I wasn't mad at you, but the fact that you keep saying it was a defense upset me because I literally stated in that thing in the very first statement that the call was inexcusable. No, I was because you could almost hear them bringing it on, like just with their voice changing and everything else for why the call was like that and like also the the ableism thing was the thing that i was most focused on yes which again i still don't quite i disagree with it but i understand it i'm not always going to agree with you like okay i can get that and then like i can understand that then. Okay. the main thing is the just the ableism that was in it and i wanted to bring that up and i felt thrown back and upset because when we were in the mod while talking about it like it seemed that you took it on board but then when we spoke in private you were mad at me i don't think i was mad at you i don't recall being angry at you can you tell me more about that it was like snapping at me and then like you raising your voice at me and then like i was starting okay. to feel uh, like small again I'll and I didn't even do anything. I didn't even breathe. That you were still raising your voice at me, and I didn't raise your voice at me. I need peaches to manipulate my YouTube and working. And then, like, I was starting okay. to feel like small again, and then that you were still raising your voice at me, and I didn't know how to deal with it. Do you ever see like a puzzle being solved? And part of your brain recognizes how it got solved, but the other part of your brain doesn't think it makes any sense. This analogy kills me. <laughs> oh god, that was a terrible. That was a terrible, was a terrible example. I apologize. Um, where you see the logic of something, but you still question it. Like it still doesn't. It still doesn't quite fit. So that's why, for me, I see Rosa capable of malicious plotting, which which takes us. A, I'm not going to say a high level of cognition, but like enough to understand cause and effect, to understand that they're intentionally doing wrong. So to me, when I see that, I I can't sit there and in my mind, like say, well, they couldn't have possibly known how to remove a predator. By the way, um, just so that everybody knows, <laughs> like if you want a good uninterrupted VOD of this, I will, I do typically have um, the video on demand. Uh, I'll keep this up. You can watch both of these streams. That way you can fast forward and whatever. But I will actually cut these down and put them into a video if you guys want to watch them. Um, I just feel like it's a little easier. I tend to cut out a lot of like the dead time and everything else. So it's a lot better. So um, I'll obviously cut all this crap out. Although it's going to be a bit of a nightmare to go through. So it might take me a little longer than normal. But I should have that out by Sunday evening. When they knew what one was. Like... I don't understand how somebody can maliciously plot to that degree, but at the same time not be capable of removing a predator when they know what a predator is and that they shouldn't be around. Now, these are things I say to you because you are my friend and because I love you and because we have these conversations. This is not something I'm going to go on and consistently say in public, though. Mm -hmm. All right, I feel you're kind of spacing out on me. Are you okay? Yeah. Well, the stuff with Jay and Jordan coming out, and them saying stuff, it makes me remember more stuff about us arguing. Well, not arguing, but like, you know, like you shouting at me and stuff. And okay. well. it makes me more anxious talking to you. But then you get mad at me when like I am, but I'm trying to explain myself. Okay, well I appreciate you giving me that context. 
So, my first question, non uh, derogatory here, I want to make that clear, is why were you? Why would you even pay attention to what Jay and Jordan are saying right now? No, it's because it was brought up at all, and it's stressful, and then it reminds me of that, and then it uh, I get stressed out. Okay, when was it brought up? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> she is Jim, actually. I know it's been on my mind a while. It's been on mine too, and that's probably one reason why I've been on edge because it does bother me, and I just honestly don't know how to deal with it. Because mm-hmm. that's why I thought that, like, when you were saying that you want to just have a conversation with me and you didn't want any mediators at all, that it meant that you just wanted to shout at me. <laughs> I I said it in chat, but I want kind of everybody to hear. I really think that this is like her setting the hook to use a fishing term. This is her hooking Lyle right here because she knows she's recording this call. Lyle, I don't think knows that she's recording this call. And I think this is where she's really setting it in with, as far as I know, Sierra uh, Peaches is no longer involved with the internet as a whole. Uh, they have left the building like Elvis. Um, but yeah, I think uh, this is where she's setting the hook, so to speak, to really um, almost set Lyo up for the abuse angle that is used in her doc. No. Um, the reason why I wanted to have a conversation with just you and me instead of... I wouldn't be surprised if she came back. Because I know that you tend... And I didn't say this in call because, again, I don't actually want to ever embarrass you. But if I do it before, like you actually start acting the up, reason why I wanted to have a conversation with you, then you and me instead of media, you still at the same, same point because I know that you tend, and I didn't say this in call because again I don't actually want to ever embarrass you and help it, but I know sometimes you feel like if more people are involved, you get ganged up on, and I understand some of your trauma and I understand some of your reactions, so I figured it'd just be better if it's just you and me talking about it. Yeah. So the last thing I would want is, because it was Sunny who offered to be a mediator, the last thing I would want is for both of us to come in and Sunny to in any way take my side and that distress you because you feel like you're getting ganged up on, you know? Uh-huh, okay. It just stressed me out because you because <laughs> I've been stressed out because you've been snapping at me a lot lately. And... And then I come back home and find out that you that that you're saying that I'm just doing things to embarrass you, and getting and snapping at people who are defending me, and then say that and then say that you just want to talk to me on my own after sounding annoyed. See, she uses the snap thing quite a bit in this conversation, and this is why. I hate games of telephone. Do you really not recognize how you came off when you came in there and did that? No, because I because I asked for it to stop multiple times and then you snapped at Lumi. <laughs> that also made me feel upset because I was the one who asked Lumi to come in there to say what I was wanting to say. And then Lumi got snapped at. Like, I wanted to jump in because... Because, like, it needed to be, I felt like it needed to be stopped quickly. That was all. Aaron, Aaron, you didn't come in there in, like, a quiet tone. You came in there, announced that you have server muted me, Mm -hmm. and went off about it. You essentially condemned what I was doing, and you announced to everybody that I had been server muted. Yeah. Because you were super muted, so I could talk, so that's not confusing. And also, so, because you don't see your phone, so if you're trying to talk, I wasn't talking over you. We have been in multiple calls, specifically between you and Lumi, or rather you and Lumi have been in calls, where Lumi will just say, hey, check your messages. Yeah. I think that could have been done, in- that could have been done instead. Yeah, but, like, you snapped at Lumi. Because Lumi came in and started asking for relevance instead of just literally doing what you guys do with each other all the time. This is where okay, it gets interesting because Lyle gets a Lumi bit to defensive go in there here. Because, 
I sent in this whole thing. two messages already. He gets a little and... harpy and circular in his argument. And like, also, and and like, also, because you snapped and you'd been snapping a lot lately, if I just said it as just check your DMs, it honestly felt like you would have continued anyway. Because, especially with snapping at Lumi, and I wanted you to stop, and I wanted anyone yeah, it is who would follow your... I couldn't tell if it was her cutting out with her, her speaking, or if it was stopping proportionally. ...you to stop, and I wanted anyone who would follow your lead, because people follow your lead a lot in, in Senate, to all know my open stance on it because if i have to keep everything quiet just so you're not embarrassed by me saying it then one that means that only as much as you want to tell people is expressed to the rest of them which does not communicate what the issue is and two like again like, that would mean that I'd have to send another message into your DMs, wait the reasonable amount of time, and then go, oh, could you check your DMs? And then it have a little pause, and then have a back and forth. And I didn't have time for that because I was already late to go out. Oh god, a Ben and Shapiro freaking liar. snapping Lyle. at Lumi made me feel that would like, be awful. like, you know, that it. I had... To just step in and flatly say no, because that's what I'm supposed to do as a moderator. That's yeah, not I'm trying to express to you. I'm trying to express to you how I felt and what I think the problem is. If you're not open to it, that's fine. If you're... Why are we skipping so hard all of a sudden? I literally didn't do nothing. If you're not open to it, that's fine. That's not I'm trying to express to you. I'm trying to express to you. Sir or Madam YouTube, you seriously need to like stop this. That's not I'm trying to express to you. I'm trying to express to you how I felt and what I think the problem is. If you're not open to it, that's fine. If you're saying that like I embarrassed you in front of so many people, then you know that that so many people were there, and therefore, like, why it is a pressing issue to make sure it's stamped out quickly. When somebody is potentially going to start saying very personal information. And that's not something I want to wait until it's already said. I want to make sure quickly and swiftly <laughs> that it is Brie, not I like done those at names. all. And that is, a, <laughs> and like, and like, that's, that, that's all I was doing. And then you, you said that, that I didn't do it with any concern, but I did have concern because I know that you're, and also on top of that, I've said many times before that the way that you ask these questions isn't the correct way of going about it because you're asking for a lot of personal information and I get dismissed whenever I say that. So that's another reason why I jumped you're in because you're not I can't say I know much about Lumi in order to really say one way or another about them. Um... I don't know if they are a good person or not. Uh, so I can't really say if they're a hostile person or not. I, I just, I, the only reason why I laugh at Ben Shapiro is just because of Ben Shapiro's associations with the, the femboy cat boy thing. And just, I immediately, my mind went to Lyo becoming somehow entangled with some cat eared femboy that, <laughs> it becomes like Peaches 2.0. Stop that. <laughs> You're not ever dismissed. I literally listen to you all the time. I adjust everything I do because I listen to you all the time. Why are you saying you're dismissed? Because when I've brought up the issue with those types of questions before, it's been shrugged off and then it happens again. I've heard Abby's a nice person. And... How has it been shrugged off? Because what I was, my entire process was trying Quite to. Quite the contrast to Ben. Where they actually were, because I had caught them lying twice in that call. You say that you've taken issue with how I asked these questions before, 
yeah. and then I blow you off about it, yeah. but now you're saying that I wasn't doing anything intentionally wrong, but you just said that what I'm doing is wrong, and then I'm blowing it off, therefore it's intentional. No, you were being aggressive at the start of the call, and you weren't when you were asking the questions, but you had been before, and then we're nearly you get, there, YouTube. You, snap you can do it yet again at mod staff who ask about stuff. No, <laughs> please, YouTube, please work. We're almost there. You get other you wonder, snap, I wonder. Hmm. Let me try something again. I'm not gonna break it. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. Yeah, stop this. Not that we're because there's nothing to see on screen aside from text. And I don't think there's any additional text in this moment. So cancel. Here we go. I'll just go my little Yet again here. at mod staff who ask about stuff and are trying to I'm slowly to eliminating be things until it'll and eventually work to divert fantastic. the situation and try and move it along without quote unquote embarrassing you. But then when I have to finally step in and just serve a view and say, I personally disavow it and this is why I'm leaving now, you left. And Yeah, I left. Honestly, and I then think you a sit lot around of... going like I won't be surprised. A lot of bigger YouTubers haven't really talked about this whole situation with uh, Lyle Convoy and all that. It's because there's so much, so much that has to be, like, covered. Like, I mean, you if you look at my whole previous stream, I literally just covered up to the drama and just trying to, like, condense it. But also, I mean, I do try to do what I can to bring out the funny in the situation. Uh, these calls are rough. So that's the thing that sucks about this. I, I'm not going to make this funny other than I can just point out like where I'm sensing the manipulations at and stuff like that. But surprised if Susie doesn't ever want to have a call here anymore. And I wouldn't be surprised all because of me and me doing what I feel is right as a moderator. Isn't me attacking you or just doing it just to embarrass you. <laughs> I'm doing it because I'm caring about the safety of people in the server. I thought that you would understand and appreciate the fact that I will put, you know, that kind of safety ahead of appeasing you. I thought that you wouldn't prioritize, like, what you looked like in the call above the the personal safety of people in there but it feels like that's what's been prioritized today okay i'm gonna go now then because like why do you feel like you need to go because i need to calm down okay we've made it to the second call if my theory works here we might be able to actually play this at like a quicker speed than that last one so i yeah, hope to god because this one's drug out Ugh. Not as long. It's shorter than the previous call, but I do want to get some speed going. But yeah, it, it, there's upset still about the stuff that. I... Okay, so you're gonna notice that uh, Peach's tone is again even more like aggressive than what you previously heard. But yeah, it's too convoluted. Everyone takes two hours to explain it. What happened when it's probably it could be more summarized in 10 minutes. I mean, honestly, you could summarize it in 10 minutes as long as you knew, like, the characters involved. The thing is, is portraying that to an audience and, like, saying, like, okay, here's everybody involved and people are going to go, like, okay, well, what is, why do we care? You know, so it's a matter of, like, a lot of people that I got here tonight, obviously, you've got a lot more experience coming from that realm if you've come from the server you you understand these these people you've been around them a lot longer so you even have better intimate intimate understanding than i do but it's uh it's kind of hard to get that across to joe nobody who is a casual listener who may not be involved in our commentary so may not necessarily know this but you know this with the way that lyle has acted and everything i think it is it is appropriate to draw attention to this but you also want to do justice for the situation as far as like making sure people make an informed at least i like to make sure people make an informed decision i, I can't speak for everybody heard from the mod call okay anything specific you want to talk about might have been too helpful with trying to play this at 
about the stuff that I heard from the mod call. Okay. Anything specific you want to talk about? Well, he said that Lulu came in shouting at you, but he didn't. And then you instantly went on to talking about me and said that. And you didn't even name me. You were like, doing this with like oh well somebody was doing that as if like oh his mic is awful in this call there's Irish not a whole so lot i can do to help either point. he gets a little bit clearer at some point it's just a matter of like he's uh he's doing he's working hard you know at a 60 hour a week job mentioning me by name okay i think you're reading too much intention there but go ahead and then you and then you yeah and you oh my lord youtube you're killing me you're killing me and then you and and then you were saying that i you know like intentionally went in there to embarrass you which isn't saying that's how you feel that was you saying that i was intentionally doing it that way and then when lumi said that you and him both know that that's not true you said well i don't know we don't know that do we as if, like, you're questioning everything I do, and that I do things intentionally to, like, just do bad. Okay. For the past few weeks, it feels like you've been micromanaging everything I do. It feels like you are on eggshells about anything I say, how I conduct myself in any way. And in that moment, it was just too much. That's why I left the call, because I figured if I can't even handle this, there's no point of me being in this call. It wasn't a case of you saying that he couldn't handle it. It was a case of you I'm saying that, like, not done. Okay. not done. I'm not done. Okay. I'm giving you the reason why I left the call. Okay. Now, as far as what was said about Q, I have been cognizantly aware of the fact that you get distressed over people thinking that you and I agree on everything and that you agree with what I do. It is something that you have brought up multiple times as a point of contention. So sometimes I feel like you overplay when you disagree and that sometimes you... What's the word I'm looking for? Not embellish, but you hyper focus when we don't, just to show that you don't always agree with me as a defense against that. That's why I thought you did it to embarrass me. That's... Because I have felt. Let me. I'm trying to get my thoughts out here. Yeah, and I stopped. And... So can you please? I know. I, I'm. I'm not fussing. I'm just saying I'm trying to get my thoughts out. This isn't easy. Because of how you have been responding to a lot of things, the fact that you have been very focused on that. That is what I thought in that moment. I thought you were trying to make a point. I thought you were trying to just make it very clear that you did not agree because you were gun-shy about everything that's been going on with the Rosa call, and you made it very obvious that you were worried that's going to happen again. And you made it obvious with the call we had the day before then, too. Mm-hmm. But, like, I was right to worry, evidently. No, you weren't. I wasn't sitting there being mm -hmm. an ableist and beating down this person. Actually, you were actually saying things that could be quite ableist, and I tried to tell you, like, multiple times in the chat, like to at stop least this way you guys got a little bit more visuals of it, a blank and screen. you were in the side chat, by the way. But the driving stuff, I didn't see until after I left the call. You were talking about the memory thing. That I saw. And no, I wasn't being ableist. And I didn't treat Raven like I treated Rosa. No, I'm not saying you were, but I was right to worry. Because you're saying about me overcorrecting, but you were also, like, going really hard on trying to figure out exactly what the diagnosis is and all of this stuff. When I'm trying to say that, that you don't need to do that. I was trying to figure out if they were lying about things. You need to also stop just assuming that people are lying. Because you assume that people are lying. It wasn't an assumption. It's... I'm sorry, but it wasn't an assumption. She did previously, both in the call we had beforehand and twice before I started even talking about the drive. Yeah. It wasn't an she assumption. Was, she was there to have a civil discussion about it. And if she says that she can't remember, I can believe that. Because if you're trying to ex you're, if you're having to explain to her why the action was bad in the first place, obviously it wasn't notable enough for her to remember every instance. That's a disconnect that I don't understand, and hopefully you can walk me through that, because it's pretty clear to me that she does see that it was a problem. Not to that extent. And she did. Like, because okay. you had to explain what the problem was, and on top of that, like you've you've ignored my memory issues a lot, and. You assume that everyone's lying, and also on top of that, uh, 
you know, asking people if they can drive is irrelevant, and then asking about their specific diagnoses and stuff, and then trying to weed it out of them, like, you've, you've asked the question, you, like, and you need to move on from it. And me saying that isn't me just sat there going like, oh, let me just show up Lyo, which also is offensive because you sat there going like, oh, you know, like, um, you know, I'm just gun shy because of the Rosa call. Um, when I've been, in, I've been putting in place these same rules since the Rosa call, and it makes me feel I'm fucking annoyed when you keep acting like I'm only upset about it now, and I'm and, and I'm overcorrecting, and that I'm gun shy about it, and that like I'm just trying to make make myself look good. I didn't say you're trying to make yourself look good. You said that I'm I was actually to... embellishing how I disagree with you to make a point publicly. This is this yes, is where it's a little more heated. Good. That is about me, Lily. No. Why are you trying to ascribe my intentions? Because you are ascribing my, no, no, you are ascribing my intentions. Right. If you're say, it doesn't matter. And I also need to say that it's really fucking annoying for you to sit there and try and like pick out specific wording to try and weasel out things and that's what i'm going to call it right now because i'm pissed off about it you try and use specific wording to weasel out things like well i didn't say this but you never say what you actually said you just say like well i didn't say that that itself is a lie especially and i and i know that he's going to fall into this thing don't call me a liar but if somebody is saying if somebody's saying this is what you've done and you go, well, that's not what I did, but it was pretty much the exact same thing, but you're, like, hyper-focused on one specific word. That is also lying. Extrapolate more on that, please. So, it's like, it, it's like, um, it, it's, okay. Okay, so, just now, you basically what? were saying that I was uh, embellishing what, like, how I disagree with you and making a public show of it, to embarrass you. <laughs> if I did it for the public, what do you think that means? You wanted to show that you disagree with me. Yeah, to the public, specifically, yeah. and I'm embellishing it for the public. Okay, this might be a case of maybe... Well, do you... I'm trying to find the words for it. Okay. Go ahead. Well, if you... But also, no, 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 because you can't no, sit there and say, like, oh, you know, like, uh, you were just doing it to embarrass me in front of a hundred and so people because you don't like it when people think that we think the same, so you make a show of it and you embellish how you feel and you're like... Dr uh, dramatizing it or whatever the fuck it's just so funny because the standards that, that they hold towards each other publicly. versus the people that they for a show bring into the these calls look good. that's where i think the the difference and maybe what i'm thinking versus what you're picking up on is i don't think you're doing it specifically to look good and that might just be the difference in how we talk i think you do it because you're tired of the assumptions or you're tired of people coming at you about it i don't think it's a matter of looking good so much as it is just trying to make it very obvious and maybe that's just a difference in how we're communicating these thoughts, but that's genuinely not where I was coming from. That is to look good. Because if I think that it's a bad thing yeah. to to be assumed to believe everything that yeah. you do, then to look good would to make a public little show about how I don't agree with you. Okay, I can understand why you think that. Or rather your perspective on that, not why you think that. And it's because okay. like you saying this stuff. And you sit there and you, you're always like, oh, trust, 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 trust. You don't trust me. You flatly don't trust me. And you can say that you do, but you oh only God, trust I me not imagine I come to you in private. Why are involved in Chris Chan you know, drama? Like, come to you with my tail between my legs going, um, you know, like, I can, I may have, uh, I disagree, but like, you know, you're fully in the right and also you're okay. And also all of this stuff that I definitely don't, don't believe in about you. But if I dare say it in a public space, you know. In the same space where we're supposed to be publicly disagreeing, and a place where I'm being trusted to moderate it, apparently that's too far and I'm just doing it as a public show. If you took it on the chin, like a man your age, and recognized the that's fact such... that I did ping you, and it was a preventative measure, and you snapped at Lumi beforehand who was trying to say the same thing, you know, like, if you genuinely disagreed, I wasn't meeting you anyway, you could have, like, fought back, but no, you sulked. I didn't sulk, and I appreciate it if you wouldn't come at me talking about how a man my age should handle something when we're just trying to be open and honest with each other, because that feels less like a conversation and more of just, like, trying to take a shot at me. Okay. And I could be wrong, I'm just telling you how it feels. Okay, and you were taking shots at me. If not even yeah. to me, but to other people. I said I was going to talk to you about it later, and obviously, I shouldn't have had that conversation. Not the one we're having now, not about the one there. Well, no, you shouldn't have, but I know what you're saying is completely different to what I'm saying. You think that you can't have a conversation with the mods because clearly they can't be trusted. No, they can be trusted. What? 
That's not what I said. So in a mod call where I talk about how I don't feel like I'm trusted, this is the response to me being distressed and me being upset is to record it, tell you, and not tell me what's being communicated. Well, you were saying I only did it to embarrass you, so obviously they wanted to know yes, my perspective. because I was fr was So instead of actually having call. a conversation, they just literally go behind my back and do this. Okay. Do you know why I was upset? What, with the, the call? No, with the mod coming to you immediately now. Because you said that you wanted to talk. Okay, but what was the reason why I was upset? Mm, because you said that you wanted to talk to them and they... You think that's the reason? Is this okay. The reason? Yes, but there's a reason for that. Wait. The reason they're upset... Okay, I'm just trying to have a conversation. It's because when they came to you, instead of letting me talk to you first, it sent you into a panic, you freaked out, understandably why you'd be upset, and it put additional stress on you. That wasn't on them. Hold up. No, man, hold on. Here I'm we not go. putting it on them. I'm saying that's why it upset me. Yeah, well, don't be upset at them for that. Be actually, you should, if what you say is accurate to me, is that you should be happy that there's people in the mod, the mod staff that actually do care about me. All right. Based on what you were telling me yesterday, the reason why you were concerned about me shouting at you is because people came to you saying I was angry and that I wanted to talk to you, so that frames it in the negative of me shouting at you. The stuff that's been going on with Jordan and Jay has brought back memories of when I would shout at you, and that's been circling in your head as well, so that was going to be your immediate assumption. Yeah, which is yeah. not on the mod staff. Well, no. I'm t okay. <sighs> I am not upset at them. I guess that's the wrong way to phrase you it. yesterday, Wait, oh. because if I finish... Oh, yeah. very upset. Moment, go ahead, I left. Sorry. Because if I finish, yesterday... I, I came to Leah distressed, and one of the key things I said was that I feel like I want to kill myself. You didn't give a shit about that. And don't say that you did. No, no, no. No, 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 and you reaffirmed that, yes, you knew I wanted to kill myself. You came into that call, guns blazing, and the only thing you cared about was, who told you? Who told you? Who told you? So no, don't, don't, don't say, don't say that that was something that you deeply cared about. Maybe it was on the priority list. Who knows? I wouldn't know because I was the one who brought it up, not you. But your priority was to be pissed off with the mod staff for telling you. But they told me what you did. They didn't come to me with information about something that I expressly asked them not to do. They came to me because somebody who, you know, who, who, who is supposed to, one, be the server owner, and two, be someone who I'm supposed to trust and talk to, was sat there saying, oh, you know, he was intentionally doing this. This was intentional. And popping off for everyone and everyone who would try and tell you, you know that isn't true. See how much yes, more aggressive she was is upset. in this call? But no... I stop. Who's messaging me? I'm sorry. Hold on. This is getting irritating. This is funny. He needs a roll of paper. Why did I say that to you? Like you know what I'm talking about? Okay. Yes, I was obviously concerned about how you were feeling suicidal. I didn't immediately bring it up because I wanted you to talk to me about it on your own. Hello. Hello. So what's this about me hating you? You heard that like you were ups upset with me in the mod call from who? Because you. Because you thought I did it to embarrass you. So this is referring back to the previous call right here. I know it's kind of hard because I don't have anything on screen. So I'm going to try and go back and forth. Um, but have a good night, Sierra. Apologies for all the stream issues. <laughs> but uh, okay, so this is referring to how the, the first call that we listened to. Uh, and I apologize again for that. It was a bit of a nightmare to get through, but... She's basically saying that she came into the last call. Lyo knew that she was suicidal at that point. And she came into the call sounding like that. And she's saying that this is how he treated her on that call. And now she's kind of being a little bit more aggressive about it, saying, no, no, you treated me like crap in the last call. I want a name, Aaron. <clears throat> Who? Which is very different from how he's responding now. now. Because I'd rather talk to you once I am completely cleared, and once I know that I'm okay to have that conversation. What's this about a recording? Well, obviously, all mod calls are recorded. Recorded. So in a mod call where I talk about how I don't feel like I'm trusted, the response to me being distressed and me being upset is to record it, tell you, and not tell me what's being communicated. You keep telling me that, one, that you're going to sort yourself out, but you don't. Apparently people have asked you about therapy and you say you've got what you needed out of it. Clearly you haven't. 
you keep telling me which also stresses me out and yeah it's kind of why i am still worried sometimes because you keep telling me that like there's a little interesting tidbit there that's kind of divulged and i don't know if it was purposely done so as a jab at him to again weaken lyo's stance um it's the <clears throat> It's the fact that she takes a jab at him for going to therapy there. I kind of want to go back just a second. Clearly you haven't. You keep telling me, which also stresses me out. And yeah, it's kind of why I am still worried sometimes. Because you keep telling me that, like, you know, you try your best not to yell at me. And, you know, you think bad things about me, but you just keep it to yourself. Well, just hold on, hold on. The thinking bad things, isn't that normal for everybody, about anybody they talk to? No, Jesus. because you usually ask. If you trust the person, you usually ask them. You don't just wait until you blow up at everyone else. That reminds me something I would like to double back on for a moment, if that's okay. Me doubting Raven's tale, because I feel I've caught Raven in a couple of lies, I think that sometimes people extrapolate that, um, you and Lumi specifically, for being specific, into being applied to you two when it wasn't. Like, it wasn't my intention to imply that I don't believe you guys' memory issues because I don't specifically believe Raven. Yeah, but you also ascribe malicious intent to everything I do that you don't fully understand, so... You really think I do that with everything I don't understand? Seems it, because you've admitted a couple times now that you think bad things about me, but you just, you know, you just put it aside until you blow up eventually. That's not what I said. I said that, and you have these thoughts as well, I'm not saying that as a gotcha, I'm saying that to hopefully get you to understand what I'm getting at here. There are times people, me, assume the negative, and I keep it internal to process it out, and like I said earlier, to recognize that it's not true, and then go on. You don't Not know. to just keep- I will give Peaches this. She nails him pretty fucking good right here, because he doesn't do that. Any person that has a- just any- <laughs> any sense of decency about them can tell that Lyo doesn't process shit very well at all. He's actually the very worst person that I've ever seen at processing anything. <laughs> what do you mean I don't? You, don't. you, you I've told you're not so in my times. mind. No, I've told you so many times about my memory issues, for example, and you're still like, oh, you're just micromanaging me. You only care about the Rosa thing because it's public. And no, wait, I know that you've been saying that because he said it in the mod call as well. So like, don't even start with that again. And like, you just like, oh, you just you just repeat yourself because you think I'm stupid. You just think I'm stupid. Or you came in and server muted me because you wanted to embarrass me and you wanted to embellish the fact that you disagree with me for a public stunt. I am telling you how I have felt in some cases. I'm not saying that to take shots at your memory issues. Yeah, because I'm when you telling you how you've been acting. There's a difference Fair. between feeling a thing and then acting on it. And your first thing is to start shouting at people. And you're you're 100 right, Frank. He really shouldn't be doing this type of content. I mean, well, I I think he has a savior complex, and I mean that in the kindest way that I can mean it. Talking about someone like Lyo, um, I I think he wants to do good, and he wants to be remembered for doing good. I think that in his eyes, battling these predators, quote, are or how is how he thinks he's going to be remembered for doing something good and he gets many friends out of it he's had a server of many hundreds of people that he's gotten out of this so that hundreds of people will remember him for the good that he's doing in the world and i think that that is honestly why lyo does this so if he's able to find something where he could do as much good he could be easily persuaded to do that instead um the only thing is is with his temperament he doesn't he's not really gonna go anywhere easily because he has an aggressive abrasive temperament and he is not willing to change that from anything that i've seen with these calls with the other calls uh and even when he thinks he is changing it's kind of proven that he's he's not he's just as demeaning as he was in the rosa call He's just as, like, he was just as demeaning to Raven. Like, he's just as demeaning even to his friends. And now, mind you, his friends may be a manipulative group of people as well. But I don't know. I, I, I struggled to think of a position where he could go somewhere and do good, so to speak, and have his attitude and everything the way he is. And I'm especially upset that, like... Yep, I broke like, it. I broke it. We got three minutes left, and then I'm going to try and basically diatribe this last stuff because and I acting cannot on it. keep doing and this And your first thing videos. is to start shouting at people, and I'm especially upset that, like, 
you sit there and you're like, oh, I care. Unless you're mad. Then, like, it doesn't matter if I want to kill myself, you're going to come in and figure out who the mole is. That is not a representation of what my thought process is. It took you- And of it, course- It took me reminding you that that's how I've been feeling, for you to just go, yeah, I know. And I just told you the reason why I didn't address it immediately is because I figured you'd talk to me about it. I because there have been times- Can I? No, 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 no. And also, I am allowed to actually cut in, because you were cutting in you to me yesterday so many times, and you've been consistently doing that, so- Excuse you, me, but no, because if you know that someone's in distress, which, by the way, um, I was also, like, age repressed the entire call, which you also did not give a shit about, but, like, you also knew that I wanted to kill myself. You come in, and your your priority is, who snitched? Who snitched? What's the name? What's the name? What's the name? Getting super aggro at me. And you can't then, when you're being called out, now that I'm actually not the mental state of a five-year-old for you to push around, now that I'm talking to you as I am, you can't then go, oh, well, you know, like, I've been having issues. Yes, I've been telling you that. That's why I've been worried about you. And what do I get when I'm worried? I get shat on. And if you don't want me micromanaging you, that's fine. However, and I'm saying micromanaging, quotations, doing my job would be the correct way of phrasing that. If you don't want me to do my job, I fucking won't. But I won't be in Senate. Because the way that things are conducted, especially when it's now gotten to the point where, you know, you can criticize me, but do, but do it, but do it correctly and rightly and not in a way that I actually do to anyone else in Senate, please. Just do it in DMs, all nice and friendly. Like, if you can call other people out on their public statements, so can I. And that's indiscriminate. We have less than a you minute left. You can't say that you want pushback and then get <sighs> public statements. Come on. So can I. And that's indiscriminate. You can't say that you want pushback and then get mad at pushback. What makes a person a terrible person is someone who consistently does problematic actions and instead of listening to any criticism, they get big mad about it. So do you want me to do my job, which means moderating calls indiscriminately, or do you want me to be a suck up like the old mods? I want you to do your job. All right. So. We've made it on to a different video here. I'm going to try and do this, and I'm going to diatribe a little while I work on this. Um, so that was all of the calls that we get from Peach's doc. Um, she, I, I don't know. I think if you hear any calls from Peach's, those, those calls kind of give you a pretty good telling idea of peaches and who she is and how she operates i i think that really kind of gives you a lot as far as like an insight an insight into a couple different things you get the insight of the dynamic between lyo and his moderators that we saw with the with the first the mod call that lived up to the call with peaches and lyo and then you have the the uh relationship between lyo and peaches that you see it's super freaking manipulative um it's really interesting and just how much they can manipulate each other lyo again he's got his bit of a condescending attitude so it's kind of it, it's hard to feel bad for him even when he's getting manipulated a little bit by uh peaches because he's just he you keep falling back to the default of how crass and how rude he was when he was talking with Rosa, when he was talking with Raven. So it's a little difficult. Hopefully that maybe, hey, look at that. At least we got chat popping up over there now. Um, but yeah, I do want to bump this up a little bit. I'm a little quiet. Apologies. Uh, so, all right. And now I can hear myself a little better too. And now you guys should be able to at least see chat on stream. I mean, uh, apologies that I've been ha having to uh, work this a little cobbled but i'm like i said i'm going to try and diatribe a little bit about what the other videos i have in the playlist are and then you guys can go and watch them thankfully i'm a good researcher and i go through and i watch everything that i'm going to before i present it to you guys so we we saw all the calls we saw the dynamics uh from there there's a couple different videos that i would have liked to play but obviously youtube not cooperating um we're just going to wing it here. So if you are going to go through and watch these videos on your own, I would suggest watching the Doodles Tones videos next. Um, there's two from Akumo. I think uh, it gives a good 
um, compare and contrast because you're not just hearing Doodle Tones position on the whole thing. Um, Doodle Tones has two different videos that came out somewhat recently. Uh, the first one is going over all of the recent drama. Um, uh, Bea, Bea, I believe your video might have been the one that I covered in the last stream. Um, there's a whole dynamic kind of where uh, basically Doodle Tones was tried to me and help out. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, you were trying to help out Doodle Tones basically in understanding that like what's going on. I, I think maybe you you seem to think you you could have went about it a different way. And I, I'm not going to tear you down or anything for how your video was. I think that Doodle Tones is a little overly aggressive if I'm going to be charitable and tearing you down and dressing you down for no apparent reason, in my opinion, uh, where you were just trying to warn her and maybe give her a heads up. Um, but Doodle Tones kind of doubled down and said, look, the Senate's changed a lot since the Rose Ramsey call. And there's a lot of people that are getting concerned trolled over this Rose Ray Ramsey call and just, you know, going out and standing on their pyres and lighting themselves on fire or whatever in the, in the name of moral justice. And the Senate is not like that anymore. Well, as you can see with the the Raven call, that's not necessarily the case. So kind of as you guys said in chat already, for those who don't know, uh, Digital Tones kind of distanced herself a little bit now from uh, Lyo, but she hasn't really broken away. Um, she's still just as attached as ever, in my opinion. Um, I don't think that much has changed in the way of, of her attachment to the Senate. I think that she sees the power vacuum going on a little bit. And I think that she, um, she, she, I, I, without sounding awful, think that she basically has her eye on the throne that was, uh, Peaches. I think she's more than willing to step up into that position, wants to step up into that position and do anything to step up into that position. And I think she still sees enough viability in the Senate, which, uh, again, you guys mentioned in the chat, is now the Supreme Court, which, by the way, can I just say from a standpoint, I don't know if that is the most clever stuff that I've ever heard of or the most infuriating. And I'm just going to I'm going to go off on a side tangent here real quick. How infuriating it is when you're trying to find a Senate call or any other call and you know how much other crap you get that pops up in the search just because you're typing in the Senate call on whatever? It's infuriating. So I, again, I don't know if it's ingenious because it buries your calls and makes it harder to find unless you know exactly what the name is. In which case, you're probably involved with the server in one way or another and you're just watching it for shits and giggles, literally. Or is it just that, like, I, I don't know. I, I, I just, It's infuriating. <laughs> at the very least um <laughs> send it to electric boogaloo <laughs> yeah so i think she's wanting to fill the power vacuum that's been created by peaches leaving by a lot of different people in more powerful positions leaving uh there was uh cosmic i think was another individual that left um but this i can at least go here and tell you stuff um because this has nothing to do with youtube and should load relatively fine so we have peaches cosmic and lumi all have put out docs against lyo so the videos that you guys just saw i can actually open this on stream because again no video so we'll go to the normal live and you guys will notice i'm in the dark so because i figured with all the videos and everything not working, we could, well, I could shut my light off and all that stuff. I didn't need to worry about it. So this is the document um, <clears throat> from Peaches that she put out uh, and the links to the calls here and here are the ones that we just watched. Um, I don't want, I don't know why this outline is showing. Uh, so this would be the Rosa Ray Ramsey call that we initially listened to. And I kind of followed uh, Peach's document here a little bit as far as the layout. And then we heard the, the mod call 
and then the two calls that we just listened to and basically it kind of says all her grievances with Lyo and how she thinks uh that he's a bit of an abusive individual um i would kind of put it back put the mirror up to her and say that she's also very manipulative and i think she's displayed her manipulation well in those calls um if you're attuned to it but yeah you can see the the wording that she used here with talking about uh, Lyle and being an abuser and all sorts of other stuff. This stuff is out there. And I know that, uh, <clears throat> I know that Lyle knows this is out there. He, he's not made any attempts to remove this information from being out there. So I don't mind that his full name shown in here. Um, I've, I even looked over his Twitter recently just to make sure that like, he's not kicking and screaming about his name being out there or anything else, but it covers, you know, the whole Raven call and everything there. But yeah, I think Diddletones is kind of very happy to fill the void that's been left by Peaches. But uh, again, I know I know the source, if you're familiar at all with the ongoing drama that was the Senate, now is the Supreme Court, or was formerly the Barrel, and has ties to the Fruitcake server, then now you know why this is such a, a mess to try and explain to anybody else. Um, but you'll, you'll know Gilded Poo, uh, <laughs> Poo Man Bad. I just, uh, he's the best way. And I don't feel bad explaining Gilded Poo like this. Gilded Poo is a troll. He knows he's a troll. He is more than willing to admit that he's a troll. Um, he is just, he, I, he took offense with, uh, Chiz and with, uh, Lyle Convoy, and I think it goes back to a Queen Serafina beef, if I remember correctly in my research, where there was kind of a little bit of, uh, mud slinging back and forth between Queen Serafina and Gilded Poo. It kind of fell into the Senate, and then it basically, um, kind of fell into him having issues with Lyo and Peaches and, He's been around this drama for a minute now. And from what I've seen, he's kind of interested with the way everything's kind of ended and stepping away. I mean, he doesn't want to follow through anymore. Okay, so that one is gone. So Cosmic Doc is gone. Lumi's Doc. I just want to see for the stream if these are still available. Lumi's Doc is there, but it has had edits done to it, if I remember right. Um... Lumi, if I remember right, kind of calls out she was kind of disenfranchised because of the Raven call as well and what happened where, again, we heard what, how Lumi was kind of treated and all that. Um, do, 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 do. Don't think there's anything crazy that hasn't been divulged in here. But yeah, uh, and Doodle Tones, going back to her, so there's the video where she basically says, hey, look, the Senate was has changed uh, uh, not just in namesake but also in how we'd handled things now there's raven call we see that there isn't a change on top of that a lot of stuff has come back up to the surface i i know there's a big pun with this but i'm not going to make it um a lot of stuff was brought back up to the surface involving some mm, fetishes uh, that uh, Doodle Tunes has, and she uh, has had to go on record again explaining those fetishes. Uh, so if you're going to watch through my playlist here, so I can at least show you this stuff. I mean, it's not going to, we're not going to play them, but um, this video more so describes uh, Doodle Tones' situation, and it goes into her being groomed as well as. Um, her situation involving the fetishism uh literature stories erotica uh that she was involved with from younger teen to early 20s um and then let's see and then the doodle tones degeneracy overview this is the one where akumo kind of again the fourth with a doodle tones video and is more breaking down how things haven't changed um i did include these in here the glitch tail and uh uh this jail i think it's jackie is the other name i've heard for that individual and then nix the shield 
videos uh, kind of explain stuff related to the Camila uh, Cuevas uh, issue. And that kind of goes back to early, early Peaches, early Lyle Convoy, where they made some really derogatory statements about Chilean folk, about um, threatening to rob this person's home and all that. Um, there is, if you really dig out there, there are some videos still out there from uh nixed a shield as well as jackie um kind of explaining the situation a little more in depth well i'm gonna take a drink real quick <laughs> when all else fails you were groomed oh good lord um so there's there's more information there's more stuff out there you can find um it's on i i would say maybe less than or not less than reputable but maybe sites that people are maybe a little more skittish about going on um I know that one of them, I want to say it was, I found it through, like, kind of, I think it might have been Kiwi Farms or something. There was a similar type situation where it actually had voice recordings that you could still go to that were linked in a document that kind of explained the situation. I think that it's, in hindsight, it's really hard to tell who was in the right, who was in the wrong with all that, because you can look at, you know, the story is being said one way where this Camilla, Jackie and uh nix the shield were bad because of the people they were protecting but then if you look at it on the other side it says that peaches and lyle convoy were bad because of well the discrimination that they did the threats that they issued the way that they've now been known to treat people um so it's it's kind of hard for me to make a judgment call on that one um this hopeless peaches aged like rotten fruit. It was a little more uh, contextual about the more recent stuff. All the stuff we've already covered. Uh, Whale of a tail, kind of. It did a great job. I know again it's coming from Gilder Pooh, but it did a pretty good job of covering the whole, whole story of hopeless peaches. Um, I cannot remember why I threw this in there. I believe there was some hypocrisy that came from this video involving um someone recently is this this is really really recent i'd have to review that i could probably throw in additional context in the vod when i come out with it yeah i've heard camilla was pretty pretty bad i heard that nix was kind of in i guess that would be a great way to say it nix was kind of the same position as peaches um and then Jackie, I've also kind of heard was maybe in that way, but it was kind of hard to find a, a unbiased story to really read into and get good information out of. Um, again, so here's this. Um, this VOD is in there. Uh, I like I said, I'm gonna probably use the same um, the same thumbnail. I'll put a VOD together that's going to basically stitch these two live streams together. I'll try and get rid of a lot of the dead air and dead time on it. Um, but the furry raiders, this furry raiders, I will actually. I want to drag this up to. Where is my. Right here. I would say this Zercalo video. All right. And. The Zarkalo video and uh, the Furry Raiders video kind of go hand in hand. If you know who the Furry Raiders are, you obviously do not need to watch a video on the Furry Raiders. I put that more in there for people to get a context and understanding. Zarkalo is, again, uh, one of the three-person love triangle that was between Coyote Lovely, uh, Hypnotist Sappho, and uh, Zarkalo. Zarkalo and Coyote Lovely lived together for a while, and there was some loyalty there as far as Coyote Lovely covering for Zarkalo. Zarkalo, I think, then had a thing for Hypnotist Sappho, whether it was more, more than just, like, a friendship? I don't know. Um, I haven't found a whole lot of proof to tie them, but there's some suggestion there that uh, they had a thing for each other, and then from that slowly coyote lovely also had a thing for hypnosis sappho and they kind of coyote did a lot of covering for people as well as pretending to do these gay ops that he ended up basically getting caught in uh <laughs> that's a hell of a middle name there dragon us <laughs> um it's a form of manipulation words themselves from the acc I did vindicate her, so I'll probably on to 
Yeah. Um, what else? I think that kind of covers the video sheet here, but yeah, there was kind of this weird falling out. Um, basically, um, Coyote Lovely in the interim after the Rosary Ramsey call, I think it was actually around September or October, but don't quote me on time frame. Um, it's kind of when everything fell to hell for Coyote Lovely. He got he got ousted more or less. Um, and so there was kind of this shift in power in the stream in the uh, in the Senate. Um, and so that's where some of these other people you see come up that maybe weren't standing out or weren't even necessarily involved back with the Rosa Ray Ramsey call. There was a lot of shift in dynamics um, throughout 2023 with the Senate. Um, but yeah, basically a lot of people, I'm trying to think, uh, was it a Como? Do, do, do. Boom. This one, it was Kumo. So Kumo came out with a Lyle Convoy video, and then you also have Akumo, or Akumo, however you say it, came out with the video both around the same time. That's kind of what ignited the whole drama with uh, basically calling out Lyle Convoy, but realistically, they were calling out the whole Senate, and specifically Hopeless Peaches, for being in a server the SDK server where we saw and we previously covered what all happened in there and how, you know, Lyle Convoy's basically kept covered and played, uh, played shield for, uh, hopeless peaches. And in all this, basically a lot of people have left the Senate. There's again, another power vacuum that's kind of gone on, uh, Lyo, we keep getting promised updates that he's going to release a video at this time as of April the 5th, April the 6th now, April the 6th, uh, he has yet to have released the video. Um, if he does, I definitely will look into it, but, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, uh, I don't know if he's going to necessarily release this video or if everything's going to kind of die and wither enough to where he ends up walking away or there is a third option which i see is possibly doodle tones trying to take over the whole game and pushing out lyo completely um i don't see her being above that in my opinion um something to he had unlisted and listed after recovery by a bitcoin or oh. yeah ruined yeah doodles is a bit of an opportunist so i i and i've seen that based along watching her interact with stuff again my stream uh the first stream started all the way back with mr Medicare and the deviant art days and like i've literally tried to put this whole drama together all the way up so that people can understand how far back this goes because you hear a lot of like it's so hard to explain this drama to somebody it is and I mean, it's taken me, what, probably close to six hours to explain the whole, whole thing. And it's still technically not done. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I I mean, honestly, that's it for the whole Lyo Convoy drama. I mean, that's really up to current day. Um, but yeah, basically Akumo and Akumo's video, they both were in the Senate at some point. They kind of get leaks. They got server documents. The server documents led them to realize that there was people in the server when there was miners present with things getting passed around. Um, Hopeless Peaches was one of those people. They confronted Lyo about it. Lyo decided to do a bit of a cover up for Peaches and in turn was brutused by Peaches in a Julius Caesar, Caesar fashion. Um, just to bring it all the way back around to the theater. <laughs> um, but yeah, honestly, that's really about it. 